Okay, welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop. Steve, I'm here with Kim. Hi, everybody. We are back. Another week, another attempt at sword and sorcery. I say attempt because last well, time. So there's a disclaimer. <laughs> Technically. At the end of the last game, we didn't do something right, so we probably wouldn't have come out with the win, but we just played for fun here, so yeah, whatever. Exactly. <laughs> and the rule we did mess up, it was line of sight rules, meaning that we shot out of being in the same spot as another enemy, you can't do that. Yeah, so it's because it's sense. like he's engaged with you, and you can't right. be like, I'm going to ignore you swiping at my head right now. Exactly. Shoot this other guy. So, we are... So, anyway, despite that, we are back at the table for another game of this, and if it's your first time joining us, welcome. We are playing Sword and Sorcery. This is a big, epic dungeon crawl. In fact, it is hard to fit on the screen, so we're going to have to mess around with that a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, it's fine. But, yeah, this is an awesome one. Very, very in-depth AI, um, fantasy, high fantasy. Uh, we are playing the first campaign, which is an old one. Um, this came out some time ago. But we're playing with a new component, so this way you can watch the game, see what's new about the game, but also not get spoiled by the story. Well, unless you haven't seen the first story, but that's that's what we're doing here. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we are on the second quest. Should we go over what we purchased from yes. our spoils from the last game? Yes, we should. So Kim purchased some armor for herself. So this is who Kim purchased. Uh, some chainmail. Mm -hmm. And just a quick refresher, she is the the Thane, Sigrid? Basically, Lady Thor. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you need some armors to make you more survivable. So this is going to be some more rerolls re and some more offense, or defensive capabilities. So that's the only thing she purchased. Uh, for myself, uh, I am playing as the Alchemist. So a support type character. If you know me, I'm very happy with support characters. <laughs> But we did get a free healing potion at the end of the last quest. So we got one of those. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about this is it might come into effect here because every time I use a potion or a lecture, I roll some dice. And if I roll a SS, which is a 1 in 10 chance, I'm not very likely, but it could happen. I don't discard the item. I can use it again and again. So that's pretty cool. Did that, and I also purchased some cursed arrows. So this will give my... Uh, my bow attacks and bleeding potential so that should help a lot in our engagements also i was previously dead i was ghost form yes but you can come back regular right. on the ne on the next mission correct so so you do okay. you do lose something from your from your, oh yeah you do you lose something that you have equipped when you die you drop everything in your inventory but when you don't come back before the end of the quest you lose something you actually had equipped but because don't, what I had equipped was a stash item, in other words, something that we can get at any time, I can just get back immediately. So nothing lost there, fortunately. Could have been a lot worse. But yeah, so we're back to the play. We're doing quest two this time. Mm -hmm. um, I guess, have anything else we need to mention? Oh, I did upgrade our enemies, so we're going to play with some different enemies today. You... Are, we, are the spiders still in there from the Spiders last are still there. So we were talking about this. We Well, you can speak better to yep. it than I, yep. but the level of difficulty of the new enemies might have ramped up a little bit compared to the original enemies. Because like, I think if we would have played with all the base guys last time, because technically we lost twice last week. That's correct. We That's got correct. trounced on the first go again, tried again, and then won. But I think if we would have had the regular base guys, it would have been smoother maybe although i was rolling terribly i i think so and yeah that's a i know that was one complaint about the game in the previous campaign it was just too easy um we're mixing different variety of characters already and so i think that's going to change up how difficult it is yeah because so, if like the new heroes are stronger and like creeping at the same rate maybe i don't maybe. know maybe i don't know but there's a lot more levers you can pull to make the game uh, more difficult for sure um, but yeah, we're not going to teach you the nuance of the game. If you want to see more about that, watch our previous video. But honestly, if you do join us, you have questions, just ask. We'll stop and explain what you need to. So, mm -hmm. not a big deal. Okay. I think that's enough preamble. Let's jump into it. So, we're on quest two. 
We fought, uh, we were resurrected by a cleric. We fought our way to the cathedral. There's a big old gremlin there that we had to beat up. And uh, we did that, and then uh, we did go shopping between our quests. So we did that before we set up this game. Now we're on quest two, which is a menace, menace kingdom. I cannot speak tonight. Okay. The morning after the attack, Marcus directs the party to the leader of the city guard, a charming lady named Anne, to investigate last night's events. The heroes cannot help but notice they are under scrutiny by the entire city, who eye them hopefully but warily. Captain Anne is no exception. And so you are our saviors? I bear no prejudice upon you. Maybe I should read the female. You were. Text. Nope, nope, you've started. You okay, should. okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. Go ahead. And I hope the prophecy of the high cleric comes true. But right now, I have a city to rebuild, and hundreds of wounded of, or missing people to attend. Do you have any questions? So now, this is a cool part about the game, is there is a quest book, and then there's also a what's called a book of secrets. Uh, this here. And so this is a... It's going to reference different paragraphs to read, and so that's where we're at right now. So it tells me to go to paragraph 2.1. Okay, so now we're at this part where we're talking to Anne. If you want to ask Captain Anne about the attack, we can do that. Go to the page. If you want to ask the men with strangely carved leather armor, oh, sorry. If you want to ask about the men with strangely carved leather armor, we can do that. Or if you don't want to ask any more questions, you can just start investigating directly. What do you want to do? I'm asking you. I played this. No, you have to, but you forget. I don't remember. Yeah, what do you want to do? <laughs> um, I guess ask her about the attack. She has more information. Okay, okay. The attack began about at the same time the high priest was conducting the ritual in the temple, says Anne. The gremlins might have entered the town through some underground tunnels, hitherto unknown to us, but perhaps known to the underworld of her city. And then it says go back to 2.1, which is back to where we can ask them our questions. Okay. So if you want to ask about the uh, strange lady carved with their armor, we can do that. Okay, go ahead. Those men, they probably belong to the Guild of the Shadows, says the captain. It's a crime syndicate spread throughout the whole realm. Okay, so that's goes back, and then we can finish it up. So now, sometimes, this one lets you ask every question. I do know that later on the quest, that's no longer true. Yeah, because it's like choose your own adventure right you can we, only choose yeah. so many options and you yeah. have to pick and choose right so should you be willing to investigate the manor you have my blessing any help is welcome at this moment says captain anne i would suggest you wait until dusk and start with jack crow in the black pearl cavern he may give you some hints but you have to be convincing you should be careful the city is still a dangerous place but after all you're our heroes aren't you good luck out there and then we begin. So Jack Crow at the Black Pearl. <laughs> yes. So that is one criticism of the game. Um, there are cultural references mixed in here, as that one may be fairly obvious. <laughs> right, I caught it. Yep. Um, and so take what it is. It's it's in there. It's, I don't mind. It's fine. Uh, I mean, but if like, because there are a lot of people that get super immersed in the story, and that can right. just yank you right out of it. But exactly. Exactly. I don't know. That voice was. I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetie. I can't. It's a new light. <laughs> yeah, I was not. I was not. I didn't prep my my Captain Anne voice as well. I should have. I should have thought about how I want to act as her. I'm never good at acting, but I have fun doing voices. As my son <laughs> I'm, knows. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> okay. Just a hard time. All right. So All right. where are we going? We are starting in this location, mm -hmm. and we just have this part of the map right now. There's other pieces. You can see some floating off camera here. Uh, they will come to play later. I also decided to put um, our health up on there, and I screwed up your health already. You should be at 8 health, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, we have health trackers above our heads here, so you guys can keep track of how badly we're doing. <laughs> no, it's the start, it's start of the game. We're fine. <laughs> okay, we're fine. <laughs> okay, so I... Like, this is what, a staircase? No, that is a spawn point. A spawn point for bad guys. For bad guys, yes, because... What is not a dungeon crawl without bad guys? But aren't they in line of sight? Wouldn't they spawn? There are no bad guys on the board right now. Okay, so can I just run up there? And... Yeah, just, we can do whatever. Now, the one thing we can do, we did not do this last game, is there's something new called bonds. Oh, yeah. If you would like to, we can try to form a bond as we're walking down the street. 
Yeah, we can do that. Okay. <laughs> so if you want to do that, we have to roll some dice. Um, Which dice? It is the blue dice, and I need... You need to grab the bomb cards, which are in that stack over there. Which one? This stack? Yes, that stack. There are bomb cards in that. So this is something pretty cool, actually. Um, and I'll show everyone what, what it is. Basically, you can do it during a journey, which we can't do in the Immortal Souls, but you can do it during adventure, which we're doing now, which is you're spending an action. You can choose two different types of bonds. You can do... Uh, a French, oh man, there goes something kind of crazy there. A friendship uh, bond, or we can do a romance bond if you want. The difference is you will gain um, additional health boost for romance, but it's harder to get. Friendship bonds will be easy to get. Look at this cute puppy. And Kim's getting distracted because she's looking at the familiars, and I'll show you what she's looking at. There are a bunch of these familiars you can find, like a, a dog. You can follow you around. But we haven't come across the ability to find those familiars yet. So they are in the game. But those are awesome. I can't wait to get one. Okay, so what kind of bond are we going for? Do we have to... No, we have to... Bond? Well, we can choose. Do you want to do a romance bond? Or do you want to be lovers in this game? <sighs> I know. It's a tough choice, right? I mean, you... Well, so there's a there are perks to... Huh, there are perks to that. In, in the sense of... What's the difference between... Being friends and being a romantic bond. You get more health if you're more a romantic health. bond. Otherwise, it's the exact same thing. But it's harder to obtain. Correct. Correct. That is true. That's correct. Let's start as friends. Can you change the bond later? Uh, I No. Once you have it, it's stuck to with you unless you lose the bond. And what happens is at the end of a quest, you roll some dice, and there's a chance you both can lose the bond. Let's just go for romance. Okay, go for romance. So how it works is we're going to roll... Soul ring divided by two blue dice because we're both at well we are level two my level one we're gonna roll one blue one dice. dice each and then what we need to do is we need to roll the same number of uh, lightning bolts to do it <laughs> and is this your action or my action actually maybe I should go first okay because you can use your action to charge up your attack right yes so I'll I'll go first. And I'll use my first action to uh, to try to do this romance. And I rolled horribly. You have no lightning bolts? I have no lightning bolts. So we just have to roll the same number. So I have to roll um, no lightning bolts. Let's see. Let me make sure. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, minimum one. Oh. So right off the bat, you're Wait, not Wait, no, even... no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> He's not I'm... even interested. I'm not interested. Not, not even interested in this bond. It has to be minimum one. That's correct. <sighs> let's yeah. see. So I'm not interested in this at all. Okay, well, me neither. It's a mutual... Hey, John, thanks for subscribing. <laughs> mutual not interested. We're, we're, <laughs> we're not interested in each other right now. We're just, we, yeah. we don't know each other. We don't. And no, you just saw me takes, die. And... What it takes is a <laughs> rave party and too many ice cream shots. That is a true story. <laughs> yes. Good old college. <laughs> Good old college. Uh, yeah, we may have met at college. There may have been rave parties involved. That's what you do when you're <laughs> That's what you do stupid 20-year-olds. <laughs> So no, we're still still. Well, and I, you were wearing a striped yellow shirt. Yep. And I couldn't remember your name, so I yep. kept asking my roommate, "Who's that guy?" <laughs> and here we are. Yeah, I was helping my friend uh, DJ a little bit that night. That was pretty fun. So. Yeah. 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 So. Pretty, so. Cool. Okay, uh, so we I failed at romance, exactly. which is fairly yes. fairly common uh, in life. Fun fact: He <laughs> had <laughs> lost the engagement ring in the couch while he. Was was trying to propose. True statement. Yes. But that wasn't the original proposal plan. That had gone totally to crap. It was all supposed to be happening at the <laughs> park. A beautiful be, day. It was a gorgeous day. It was supposed to be at a gorgeous park. We went and I was in a terrible mood. <laughs> and I was just It wasn't happening. He it was, really was not happening. And he's like, no. And telling me after the fact I'm like, yeah, you were acting weird, but I was just so mad at, you know, stuff that was going on. Anyway, so later we go back and we're hanging out, and he's on the couch, and we're lying down, and then all of a sudden, you just start panicking. I was like, lying down on my back, and I had the ring in my pocket, and apparently my leg was up, and the ring fell on my pocket, so it fell in the, the couch cover. So I'm 
trying to be discreet as we're watching the video with stuff that's in my hand between yeah. the couch and, there, and like, he's trying just to find like it. digging through this couch I'm like what the heck are you it was not working at all and then, okay well keep in mind we were at my parents house because this was over Christmas break or something yeah yeah and um he just sits up very abruptly Kim I need you to leave the room <laughs> just like you're kicking me out of the family room <laughs> so true it's not even your house. So anyway, I leave the room. He closes the door because there were doors to the room. And I just hear couch cushions getting ripped up. So I, like, it was just so Steve. True statement. Very so true. Steve, so awkward. You come back in and, oh, nothing oh, happened. Yeah, he acts like nothing happened and everything's fine and normal. <laughs> and it's just like, well, where have you been? I found the ring, by the way. Yeah, so. he found the ring. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did propose late that night, and it he wanted did. to be good, but he yeah, it was, it was so such an awkward path to get to that point. Oh, it, was, it was very you. It was? <laughs> it couldn't have gone any other way. Any, I'm sorry. Oh, boy. There's a lot more information than I'm sure people want. <laughs> Finish Please, your What's turn. wrong with these guys? Okay. Go right ahead. All right, so I did that. I'm going to move. I have movement at three speed. I'm going to move one, two, three up here. To that spot so now the one thing i'll point out is on the map there are these uh, indications right here so it's got a picture of a, a boots and a cross on top of it meaning you let's zoom in a little bit here you can see a little bit better here we go so it's got a cross on top of it it means uh you can't walk from that area to the other area so like this is a boundary based upon the art but i cannot go from here to here because the foot is on that side now when it, if I'm on this side, there's no there's the same symbol as on this side, so I can move from this area to that area. And basically what it's symbolizing is this area is on an ele elevated platform. So I can jump down, but I can't climb up. Okay. So that's what that means. Gotcha. So. Oh, and you lost your wedding ring. Uh, save that for another night. <laughs> I know. Now I'm just thinking of stories. I know. All right, what else are you doing? So I moved three. I did my action. I can't do a combat action, so I'm basically done. Okay. I just ran up there and said hi. I'm going to charge my Anvil of Thunder, um, which I roll a red dice, blue dice, red dice. Red dice, a single red dice. You're looking for... Uh... No, lightning bolts, lightning and bolts. I did not get it. Yep. All right, so no more actions. One, two... What, is this a story thingy? And that's a waypoint. You can go investigate that. Um, where are you? How fast are you? You're only three speed. No, I am four speed. Oh, you do have four speed. Because so you, I have... One, two, three. Yeah, you can move on. I'm place. a runner, so I can... Wait, one, two... Oh, the, you're in a spot three, so yeah. I could get here. You could get there, yes. Do I want to get there? Is a bad guy going to jump on me if I get there? Uh, possibly, but not... We don't know. There's no, there's no like, trigger events in that So spot. if he shows up and spawns, I'm fine until my turn. I can attack him. I don't know if that's gonna spawn. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand there. Okay. So that is our hero turn. After the hero turn, we do the event phase. The event phase is use that with this deck of cards, and so it's um some of the cards are ordered in specific order. The other ones are random. We shuff, shuffle some piles and put them all together. But anyway, reveal the top card, and this one is night. It is currently nighttime. So now we would shift all powers back one, and so what that means is the powers. Uh, when you use them, you flip them over to a uh, number of hourglasses, and you have to rotate them every t every round. And then when, when they get back to one, they can flip back over to use the power again. But right now, we haven't used any power. We don't have to worry about it. However, in the quest book, there are sometimes these things you have to worry about. And this one, we don't. There's nothing else that happens from night. So it's not going to hinder, like, because, like, the last game, it was nighttime. Right. You lose right. a something happened. We will have less damage. Less yep. damage, yeah. Yep. Not this time. Okay, good. So that gets set aside immediately. Normally, they would you put the card on top. But for night and day, they immediately get resolved and pop cold off the top of the deck. So that's it. Night happens. Then we do the next round. So we do a time phase. Okay. Which I don't think we have anything during time phase. Nope. Uh, that's true. And then we can go on to our hero phases. So would you like to go first or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. Can I go stand on this thing and do... This is going to do something, right? Yeah, we will look into the book and okay. see what it does. Boom. Doing something. Doing something. Okay. <laughs> um, that is waypoint one. So in this book, it is 2.17. Okay. Is Anne going to come back and speak to us? I don't know. We'll find out. 2.17. The cellar of the tavern is full of barrels, crates, jars, and more. There's barely enough space to move around. That is 
it. That's it? There's nothing there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I move the token off? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you don't remember what happens in the story at all, which is fine. It's fine. <gasps> Something's going to come out, isn't Maybe. it? Maybe. Maybe. So I was safer next to the spawn point. That was one movement. You still have more movement you can do. Do I is is this something? If I step on that card, or that's just a card there? Yeah. Um, and there's a wall between those two sections. Though you have to yeah, go back so down the stairs. Two, three. You can do that. Yep. And, and when you get to story point one or story event one, we have to read something else in here. So you didn't apply the story event described in the book. Okay. Yep. Two point seven for this one. Okay. The tavern is filled with the mouth-watering scent of roasted meat. The smile on the lips of the landlord, however, fades as he notices the weapons hanging from the belts of the newcomers. He warns, Strangers are always welcome, be they heroes or not, as long as they aren't here for trouble. So you have some, a choice here. Okay. You can ask about Jack Crow, or the heroes can just ask to drink and eat. Hmm. I feel like I should know more about Jack Crow. Okay. Warily, the party approaches the counter, asking for Jack Crow. The face of the landlord darkens and his voice resonates. You mean Captain Jack Crow? Yeah, they're laying on the, the cultural reference there in the yard. The heroes turn toward the voice, which comes from a group of shady figures with drawn weapons who look anything but friendly. Among them stands a dark-haired uh, man with fancy clothes wielding a cutlass. Jack. Now we go to uh next part of the section it says the pirates eyes the hero eyes the heroes and boldly continues. Heroes, indeed your reputation precedes you. I know you're looking for me, so we have a choice. Hell God! Do you want to tell Jack you are on a mission for the city guard? Or do you want to tell Jack you have good gold in exchange for information? We have gold. We have 35 gold between us. I feel like he's a pirate. Let's bribe him. I'm going to bribe him? Okay. Yeah. Uh, different one, too. Let's say 20 crowns, and I will allow you to go away with your, with both what you need to hear and your head still firmly attached to your shoulders. What about that? The alternative, on the other hand, could be a bit more painful. So if we accept his offer. We discard 20 crowns. Um, or if we don't accept the offer, or if we don't have enough to pay, we do something else. So we do have enough to offer. Do you want to give him the 20 crowns? Um, yeah, but my gut says he's probably going to stiff us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So then we do discard 20 crowns. Okay. And we take story event card one. Which is that. And we set it aside. So. Which is there. That's fine. Okay. And then we go to the next part. It says, Jack swiftly puts the gold in her pouch, hides it under this coral, coral set, and starts to talk. The ones you look for, they live in the shadows, Jack sighs. Yet, they often patrol the underground entrance to the city. What you're looking for is the sewer gate at the border of the city. Here's a map. There's a secret underground passage in the cellar of this tavern. Go ahead. I'm sure what you, that if you stick your, your nose around there, twill be what you'll... Twill be they that'll find you first. Farewell. The strange quick movement distracts the heroes, and then Jack Crow is no longer in the tavern. Pfft, smoke bomb! Uh, the heroes, with a strong feeling that there is something more that meets the eye to, in that pirate, look at the map. Areas containing waypoints 1 and 2 are now considered to be adjacent. Heroes and enemies can move through them. So what that means is in on the board... I'll move this into frame a little bit so you can see it. There is a... Oh, maybe you can't quite see it. There's a waypoint 2 on a separate area of the map. And the waypoint 1 over there. So now those two are now connected. Okay, so that's that trapdoor area. So those are considered adjacent. Yep. So we, we know what the, the trapdoor is. Remove spawn gate uh, from the quest. So that comes off the board. Yep. Uh, open the star spawn gate, which is... Um, not that one. It is this one over here. Um, we'll make some room here in a, in a second, so you can see more of it. Mm -hmm. Open the shrine, which is this one. And then uh, the party has fought. We don't. Otherwise, play story event one, revealed side, on top of the event deck. No, the event deck's over here. Oh. <laughs> I'll take it. 
Okay, that is it. So we bribed him, and uh, he gave us information we want, that we know how to get out of here. Okay. What's behind this door? Ooh, a treasure chest, and maybe a bad guy. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. You do have... How many? You have one, two, two three. I have one movement you have left. One, yeah, you can move back in the middle. I'll go in the middle. One, one, one. Well, maybe not. Why? Um, <laughs> hey, Sam, thanks for joining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bribing yes. bribing the guys is always a good thing, right? Yes. Um, the only reason you might not go there is because if I open that that locked door, you there's a trap. And you, you oh, I don't want it. I don't want anything to do with that. Okay. So did you use your yellow action? I did not. I'm gonna try you to want... charge my hammer. Okay. Two. Woo! Two deuce. And I have the I don't have the charges over here. No, you can't have any charges. Well, I get two. Okay. <laughs> Okay, right, here you go. Okay. So you're done. That's my turn. I am going to move one space. And then let me use... Now, this is a locked door, so I have to use an action to open it. So I will do so. It automatically comes off the board, and then we have to draw a trap card. We have dinosaurs. The dinosaur. Sorry. Distract. I added dinosaurs to the game, guys. You're I'm so excited. Trap. So that's one of the new heroes. Or not <laughs> heroes. And new enemies. New enemies. Yep. So here's our trap we get. We get a plague vapor. So good thing you weren't there. Yeah. Each area within one area suffers one hit point. So I'm gonna take a damage. Um, per soul rank divided by two. So that's only one for me. Then unless save, I become exhausted. Come on, save it. So I'm gonna take a damage. Oh, that's you. I'm gonna take a damage. Good thing mm -hmm. I'm at. Why am I? I have no life in this game. Well, you let me love it, but you. <laughs> You chose That's not true. to save yourself. That's true. Okay, for my save, I need to roll a shield yes. to do this. So let me roll to I get. I do not get a shield, so I am exhausted. It's so hard opening that door. It was a really heavy it's door. A heavy door. Um, okay. So now the bad news is uh, exhausted means I can't do my yellow abilities, which I already did, so it's no big deal. Does that go away next turn? Yeah. Okay. Yeah pot of coffee or something yeah but you can still move and discard that well see. not exactly because now i have line of sight to this thing oh so let's see what it is it is an enemy so can i spawn an enemy a blue gremlin cool okay and he comes and play with a power where did you pull that up? was that right yep here? right there exactly okay. he's guarding the treasure yep Okay, so that was, and he comes and play with the power. Can we grab a power from him too, oh. please. Uh, I don't need power. That's so he is going to be uh, swiftness. So at the beginning of each event phase, before managing the event card, roll a blue dice. If you roll that, he's going to activate again. So he may yeah. activate multiple times. It's actually quick, but he only has four health. That's not bad. Uh, so yeah, that is not so bad. Okay. I, on the other hand, moved, so I can't use my accurate shot, but I do have a bow on me. Shoot him! So, yeah, let's try to take him out, or I'll do as much as I can. He's not resistant to my bow, so that's good. So, I will... Ooh. What? I don't think you should use your arrows right away. Why not? Well, they're... I... Because so, if, so if they... they break or you lose them. True. I think save them for, like, a spider or a freaking dinosaur that's gonna come <laughs> yeah let me look at the this is just like a big lizard yeah it is where's the exhausted condition okay i don't i'll have to look it up to make sure i'm pretty sure that means i can't use my yellow abilities okay i'll find it later about that symbol right there yeah yeah i'm pretty sure it's I'm, Pretty sure it is this one. Can't use my actions. Yeah. So anyway, so what what I could do though is here this bow. My next attack inflicts bleed too. Um, is that's what I'm thinking about doing now. The thing about the these projectiles is you keep them up until the point where you roll a gremlin symbol. If you roll a gremlin symbol, then you run out of ammo. Basically, is what what what, what that amounts to. And so I'm just double checking because I I'm wondering if exhausted means I can't use a different effect. No, I'm right. I can't use yellow abilities. Where, where's my on that? Okay. 
There's a lot of conditions in this game, so just make sure we get head right. Okay, okay. so let me attack him. I will use my thing. Yeah, okay. let's use this. Because if, if that dude, if that does trigger, he can just bleed to death and won't be able to attack me at all. Okay, so I'm going to use this bow. It is one damage uh, with two blue dice. So let me roll those two and see what happens. I can't focus on anything because I don't have any more actions. So it's just a normal attack. Hey, here we go. Rolling. I rolled horribly. Um, this, can't really see it. There, you can see it better. Shield does nothing. This one has a star and a damage that star doesn't do anything. It's hoping to get a lightning bolt to do bleed too. So we got one, two damage to him. And it only has, two, it doesn't block anything, so it just takes two damage. Okay. okay. Not ideal, but. Well, he's halfway gone. Yeah. All right. So now it is. We're done. Yes. Now we have to draw a encounter card because there's an enemy present. Uh, activate all blue enemies. Okay. So he is going to activate. So what we do is we look at his AI card. Which is here. Yeah, thank you. Here's his AI card. We look at, uh, he wants to go at the person with the most money. Which is you, because I paid, you paid all I the money. Paid off you Jack. have no money now, so it's I paid definitely off Jack. me. It's fine. So, because otherwise he would actually go after you. Because he, how this works is you look at the first line, and you spot the other one's one, two, or three. So he go if he would have the person with the most money within three spaces. Hey, hi, dwarf. <laughs> so, right. hey. So, he's gonna go after you, Steve. Which would not is... go down after a baseball game. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. hey, I mean baseball is awesome though. I used to coach baseball. It was a lot of fun. And, and I, our son really likes playing baseball too. So. He was good. We were. He's only six, but um. He's got good form. Yeah. Although we're his phone. parents, so we're a little biased. I'm we are biased. Just, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> so, All right. Okay. Uh, so, so he's going to move to engage me and attack with claws. Ah! Yep. His claws is two red dice, minus one armor. I don't have any armor for this matter. Um, I do have a magic shield, though. So he's going to roll two red dice against me. You want to roll? Go ahead. No. You roll. Okay. He rolls one damage, and he doesn't use any lightning bolts, so that's oh, cool. Nice. So the one damage, and I've got a magic shield, so I'll just use my magic shield to cancel that damage, and nothing happens. Okay. All right. Good job, Steve. Okay. That is it. So do you want to go, or do you want me to go? Uh, well, no. Now it's the time phase. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, High Dwarf. You are coaching T-Ball. That's cool. Oh, cool. That's yeah, nice. that's something I think my son would like. Our son would like to do. I said my son. Your son. That was awkward. I'm not here. I. This is continuing on with awkwardness. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so. Um. So cool. Okay, that's it. Then we what we no... do is we look at the event deck. Yeah. The event deck does have an event on it, so we just discard it. And the next time we'll reveal reveal a new one. So. Okay. So that is that. So now it's our turn. Now it's time phase. Cool. I get my magic shield back. My my exhaustion goes away, and now it is. Our terms. Yes. yes. So we can go any order we want. Do you want to hit the guy right there, or? I feel like you could smashy smashy. Yeah, I have an axe. Because I can go open up the safe because I have the a special ability saves. Oh, you know what? I can't. Why can't you? Oh no, that's for searching. Doesn't matter. You can open the safe instead if you wanted. Well, because my axe is a slash attack, and he's strong against slash. So, I mean, really, I would I would just have to roll one. Um... Oh, no! Icing Death, you are correct! We totally forgot about his swiftness. We have to roll blue dice to see if he goes again. You want to do that? Ah. Thank you, thank you. He does not roll a damage, so he does not go again. Thank you, Ice Icing Death. Nice. See? That's why we need people here. Yeah, you know what, uh, High Dwarf, we, I think we lost our first time playing this as well. And it was interesting because we lost due to time, which is, is kind of fun. Okay. So, yeah, he does not activate. Thank you, I think that's for reminding us. So, yes, you can run there and attack. If you do, you get a boost to attack. Otherwise, I can try shooting him. Um, you just have to deal him. I have to deal him two. Two damage, yeah. I'll just attack. Either one. that, either you, do you want to open the chest or you want to kill the guy? One of the two. You pick. I'll kill the guy. Okay. So I'm going to move. Okay. Um, I'll attack with my axe. 
Should I? I could have thrown my hammer. I mean, you could also get in, got in your hammer, too. You don't have your hammer yet. Oh, I don't? So it's Kim has a cool ability. This is her ability. Um, she gets to summon her hammer. Hey, Sam. Uh, yes, this game is great on stream. Does one stop co-op shop have a proffered... A preferred cheat. A preferred cheat sheet. Oh, cheat preferred sheet. cheat sheets for the game. Or player aids. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I honestly use what's included in the game. It's this this giant. Uh, let me move this card out of the way you can see. The giant uh reference sheet, and I find this is actually pretty good. It does a does a really good job at it. Um, I've never needed anything more than that to be honest. But, and they they come with all the expansions. They have uh versions of that. So I, that's what I use. There might be something else out there, and I can ask Colin what yeah, he uses. Yeah, well, because Colin's playing this on the other channel, but the, yes. the new stuff. So Correct, and that's dropping, I believe, Thursday. So if you go to the other One Stop Co-op Shop channel, you can go check Thursday to see the new... Because he's playing he's playing the same Lady Thor, but the other characters are different. And he's playing the new campaign all over there. But you can ask I can ask him the same question. Maybe uh, we can put a comment there. But uh, um, I'll drop a note if I, if I hear anything from Colin on this on the YouTube comment here, so we can convey that, but yeah. I just use the reference sheet included, honestly. I think it's pretty good. And the and the rule book is well, excellent in this game. Yeah. That's his book of choice, like, game rule books at night, is what you're reading. It's like, <laughs> Ooh, how does this work? <laughs> I know, that's, that's your nightly read. Okay. Rule books. <laughs> Alright. So, I have to summon this with an action, right? It's a free action to do so. Oh. But I could use it or my axe. Well, if you summon your your, your oh, hammer, then I put my axe in my backpack. Then you have it in your power, yes. Oh. So this is what she can summon. She can summon this uh, with a free action. Summon this weapon, which is pretty cool. It's got a range of one on it, which is neat. Uh, and then so she can actually th throw her hammers from a short distance. So you don't have to move if you don't want to. I'm gonna slash him with my axe. Okay. I'm gonna save this for worse bad guys. I mean, you, you keep it until you, you you do multiple attacks with it. It's not on a timer exactly. So let me explain this to Kim, and then and then <laughs> you guys can understand to too. Yeah. So this is how it works. If she chooses to use this ability, it is yeah. free action to do. And what you do is you'll place three of these uh, counters on on this card, and she'll gain. She doesn't have it yet, but she'll gain this item. It's specific to her, which is really really cool. You like, you know, totally Thor to you, right? Mm -hmm. You're near. And then how it works is if there's ever no tokens on this card then it you to the countdown time phase correct yeah when all tokens are discarded you flip it over it has a three ten rounds to, to get back however as long as there's to any amount of tokens on the card you can discard a token and spend an action to do a second attack with this weapon specifically so for free you can just summon it right now no big deal you have there's no limited number of free actions you have so, so you might as well do it. Okay. So then, if I if I miss with the with it the first time, I can discard and just try again. No, it doesn't matter. You can miss yeah. with this as much as you want. The only reason, only time to get rid of it is when, when you do extra attack. attacks, okay. or you get rid of the token some other way. Okay. Right? So I my suggestion is go ahead and summon right now. There's no reason not to. But I'll lose my extra. Um... No, you, it, this no, is not. If you notice down here, this has a zero, and it it does. It doesn't have... It's interesting because this is an item in your inventory. So you don't have to equip it. Oh, so my axe stays? Yes, your axe and everything oh. stays. So like, there's no reason not to do it. Oh, okay. Well, it's equipped. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I think I it's like I flying con... around you. You can grab it out of the air or something. It's I don't know. Just... I, okay, now it's Doctor Strange's cape that's like just <laughs> staying with me. That's right. It's just that's mixing right. it all together. Okay. Um, so I'm going to stay back here and I am going to... Check your hammer? Throw my hammer at the guys. So I'm going to roll... Hammer time! Roll here. You do have a yellow action if you want to use it. You can charge up, or you can do a guaranteed hit. Or actually, because you're going to attack this area, we do control. We do. We do have supremacy, so you do get plus one damage automatically. I'm just going to regular. Okay. That's not. She rolled a shield and an S, which is horrible. Which is nothing. But so... because we control the area, you do get two damage anyway. So he is dead. So he's dead. Yep. All right. So even if you even you miss, it was guaranteed you're gonna kill him. Yes. And what do we get from taking him out? Well, let's find out. You put the card away. 
I did. <laughs> she's like, let's find out. <laughs> As she's pulling the card down, I'm like, wait, you need to look at the card. Um, a soul gem. A soul gem. So you look at the bottom of the card and it shows you what you get when you kill them. Okay, so do I have that little counter thing over here? Yes, yes. right there. So we're up to four, which is excellent because now I can level up. Can you do that right now? No, I do it in time phase. Okay. So, can you take off the blue guy off the board? Yes. Cool. So yes, you have a movement. Um, you can move to the waypoint if you want. Or you can even move to the next area if you want to. I'm going to go get the treasure. I'm going to wait personally. right here for you, and then I'll do a charge up okay. to max out my charges, which I don't get. Okay, so I'm done. Your turn. Okay, move me to the treasure chest, and I will use my action to bust it open. Don't you have to dominate for the damage, not control? That is correct, Icing Death. So control means you have to have greater numbers. So in that case, there's two to one, so we have greater numbers. However, dominate means we have to have more than twice the number of enemies, or twice the number of enemies in there. So he's saying, but with control, you don't get extra damage. Correct. Control means other stuff. Dominate means you have to have twice the number of heroes in that area as enemies yeah to dominate and because there's only one enemy we just needed two heroes so but two heroes we both control and dominate the area when dominating the area you get the supremacy bonus which is extra damage yeah what decision did you guys go with story about that um, oh good question i bribed jack crow yes she to did get information and i feel like that bypassed a whole round of attacks it did <laughs> so it did that's a good spend for 20 20 20 crowns crown? yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we get some more crowns now because I am bashing that open. Okay. So I draw a trap card. Poison darts. Dodge. Oh no! <laughs> Reach here within two areas, which is just me. And is attacked by soul rank one damage. So I'm going to be attacked by that. I have I have a is I it, have a magic shield. So is it me too? Because one two or is no, it one it's, two? Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question sorry i was reading the comment <laughs> my first time i didn't get jack crow and murdered you oh jeez. Yeah. yeah yeah he's pretty tough so i didn't say anything but i think paying him off was was a nice nice yeah. touch so um within two I'm well normally the door counts you count the door is technically zero so this is technically zero so i think it's one two normally so i'm pretty sure you don't get hit for this one really yeah i'm pretty sure Okay. Because the door, if like this door, if we would open this one, this is only one area away, and and, and then two is oh, further. What, well, so one is here, and then two is here. I believe that's right. Space difference in here? No. I I'm, I'm not positive I'm on that. I might have screwed it, screwed up. Because technically, the, this is between to, between stuff. Yeah. And so there's no area zero. But within two. Oh, so that you, there's no zero, so this is one? Well, in normal powers, that's zero. But I think when you open up traps, traps count. I, Why different? Well, it's different for here, I'm saying. Oh. So I think it's different there. I'm not positive. I can check the... If any of you are following. Okay. <laughs> Kim's calling me out, so I... So the trap says poison darts are hitting anyone within two. And he said it's not me, but I don't see how it's not, because this is his spot right here. Spot right here, and then me right here. So I count this as zero, one, two. So why am I not getting hit with darts? You might be. Let's double check that real quick. Um, I'll hear some area traps. Yeah. No doors reside on the edge between two adjacent areas. Each of those adjacent areas count as one. Uh, but maybe for uh, maybe you're right for the area counts as one space. Yeah, because doors don't, because doors reside on the edge between two adjacent areas. Each of those adjacent areas counts as one. But it doesn't really say about the chest, so maybe you're right. Go ahead, you can get hit. So. I mean, not that I want to, but I feel like that's the right way to do. And then Hydor says, I actually think both are within two. I think both sides of the door are range one. Yes, that's correct. So I know that for the door, that's correct. Thanks, Dan. And Dan, yeah, he's been, she's been getting harder. I'm just trying to follow the rules. Okay, you are getting hit by poison darts because you keep wanting to get Wait, hit. Wait, can right I now. dodge it? Can I block it? Can I do something? No, you're getting hit right now with one damage. So <sighs> you have armor. I'm trying to do the right thing. So you, you block the arm, you armor. Oh, I blocked it. it. But you have to do a save. Oh, so I need a lightning bolt. Yeah, with a blue dice. Blue dice? Yes. Not a red dice? And I need a shield with my dice. No, I got you your shield. And I did not get my. Back. So I, I'm poisoned. Oh, good! I rolled 
I rolled the gremlin symbol, and we're playing with traits. So will my gremlin symbol also for extra damage? So thanks to your oh. help. Oh, me too. I uh, have exotic weaknesses against poison, so I also suffer extra damage. Okay, so you are. <laughs> I get one damage. <laughs> no, two damage. No, you just get poison right now. Oh, I get poison. Yeah. So you're going to get. We're both going to get these poison tokens. So basically, at the beginning of each time phase, you're going to take damage equal to the rank of that, and then you get a chance to do the save. If you don't get a save, then it stays around for the next round. So every every round, you're going to take damage from that. And you're going to take extra damage. Can I heal from poison? Can you fix me? Can you unpoison me? You can me? unpoison with a, the ability to get rid of um, uh, body conditions. But we don't have that capability. Okay, so pretty early to start getting sick. Yeah. Yeah. But at least the, the chest is open now. Okay, what's in the chest? Uh, draw a chest token, please. Where's to your that? left, over there. There's quite a few tokens in the game. It is a huge, huge dungeon crawl. And um, Kim cannot open a container. <laughs> <laughs> Smash it. Okay, so what do we get? I don't know. What is it? Flip it over. We get a treasure. Sweet. Okay. And then... Um, Should you keep this? Yeah, you leave it out. You grab and draw a treasure card. So many cards. A golden axe. Cool. So this is what we got. So this is technically an Act 2 Axe. So this is from the original campaign. We cannot use this until we get to level 6. But we can carry it for now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That is an awesome act of bleeding. Ignore your armor completely. That's a pretty nice weapon. So we'll hang on to that. Okay. And that chest can go away. Okay. Can you move that pink thing down? Okay, yes. Sorry, it's all just black in the screen. Yes. Okay. Okay, so that is not ideal. Um, oh yeah, I took I took damage. I didn't do my damage thing, did I? So I took one damage. So I'm no. doing horrible. Yeah, so I, I blocked the damage, but I got the poison. Yep. Okay, that is it for us. There's no enemies. So we go to the event phase. We don't have any events revealed to reveal the next card. We get this, anti-magic wind. Until next event phase, heroes and enemies cannot use star effects. What? Did you move? There or you did? Oh, I can move back actually. Yeah. Uh, one, two. I can move into your spot. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. So heroes can't use star effects, and because we're playing two or three heroes, we do heroes minus. So we have two heroes minus zero enemies. We spawn two enemies. Cool. All right. First enemy is a green spider. And the second enemy is a blue raider. Okay. And we look at the board, there's only one spawn point here, and that's this one. So they, they're going to be over here. Over. Yep. And no special powers with either of those. Nope. So that's it for the event phase. Okay, now we do time phase. Time phase, you're taking two, two damage. damage. I am taking one damage, and now we both have to roll for saves. So this, I can ignore it if I get a lightning bolt. I am now no longer poisoned. Aha! Save! Cool! We're both saved. But I still have the two damage. Yes, still okay. two damage. Yep. Okay, so we both saved. Um, that's oh. it. Do this. Okay. okay. It is our turn. So who wants to go first? Also, this area here, when you enter there, you take damage. Okay. It's got brambles. You just take a point of damage, which is great because I uh, I have two life. I might have to use the health potion on myself. <laughs> I can save you. How? I have my heal. You could you could try to save me. Yeah, yeah. Let me just heal you. I have two heal right now. Save the health potion for later. Yeah. Okay. For when you're really like crawling in peril. So I'll go first. So I'll use my one action to discard both. My charges. This is your ability. Yep. And I'm going to heal you two. Okay. Do you have two? Yeah. I'm feeling better. Okay. I could have healed myself fully, but I'm. And then now two. you go to uh, three. Uh, three yeah. right here. So you're going to now take that down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then. That's your yellow action. That's my yellow. So then I'll move one. Take a damage. Just one? Just one. Five. Okay. 
Oh, now we see this token here. Yes, what is that? Which is just a citizen, no enemies. Haha. <laughs> okay. Um, now. Um, is that all my moves just to transfer over there? Or no, can I keep, you moving? keep going. One. Two. I'm going to stop right. Is this line of sight? Uh, where's the X? X is in the middle. No, it's not line of sight. I'm going to stay back. Okay. All right, so that's it. Now we get to do, and I'll, I'll rearrange the board here oh, in a second so you can see. No, because we have to draw a counter card. We have enemies on the board. I'm confused, because that was like the start of our turn. I just went for... Yes, us. after a hero goes, if there's oh. enemies on the board, you draw a counter card. Yep. Okay. Activate all enemies in full health. Okay. Both of them. We'll do the green spider first. So here's the activation. Now, interesting about this is you do these actions with this target in mind if they can see them. Nice. However, because you're not in line of sight, they will both do only this plus action here. So that is what he's going to do. He's going to move one area towards the closest hero. Mm -hmm. Now he's in line of sight. Um. Attack the closest hero in line of sight within two areas with web. Yes. So yes, he's going to attack you with web, and web is down here. With one damage, three blue dice, and makes it slow you. Oh, actually, he can't use his slow. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Oh <laughs> yeah, high dwarf likes your smart use of line of sight. By the way. Yes. So I rolled two shields, a hit, and a lightning bolt. Okay, lightning bolt does nothing. The hit will do another hit. So it's two two damage coming at you. Which I block. You block one of it with the armor. And, and then I have to roll a blue dice. A blue dice. Yep. And you roll the star and a damage, which I don't think you can use for anything. No. So I got one hit. Yeah, another hit. Yep. Wait. Wait, though. Do I not have two defense, though? No, or does it, this replaces cover it, it, up? it replaces it. Oh, ball. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, why is that? Wait, did you didn't roll your blue dice, did you? Wait a second. I just rolled the one. You told me to ro roll. Yeah, you roll one dice. dice. You roll yeah. one dice. Yep. yep. And I got not one anymore. Yep. So in this game, you don't roll for defense. You don't roll it like in Kim's card. He has three blue dice. You only roll the number of blue dice as the number of damage it's coming in. So she could roll three blue dice, but she only does that if three damage is coming at her after all the reductions. So as a way of keeping the game balanced, because otherwise you could have an instance where I can only do two damage, but they roll like four blue dice. There's no way I can get through that ever. So this gives an opportunity that damage will actually happen. Yeah. Okay, so that is it for the spider. That's not we have right. the raider, which is this guy. So here he, he has, he's going to do the last part here. Move up to two areas towards the closest hero. Attack the closest hero in line of sight within two areas with a knife. So he's going to move two areas towards you. One, two. And we'll readjust this and let us so you can see it better. And then his knife effect is two damage and a poison. Oh, you're so screwed. Yeah. Okay, so one of your armor is going to just block it. Mm -hmm. The other one, you have to roll for it. So roll one die. You blocked it. Roll the shield, so you didn't take any damage there. But the poison, no matter what, is going to happen. No, oh, I just got rid of that. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, that's horrible, because you are extra weak to poison. Yes, I am. I drop it. Okay. 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 So now it's your turn. Because the interesting thing about this game is those effects are guaranteed to happen. Okay, so my turn... I'm going to move into there, and I'm going to take a damage. Can I take this part? Yes, and you can, you can dis disassemble yes. that. And let's make some room so people can see a little better. And you can rotate this sideways, I think. That's the best way of doing it, so people can see. There, now you can see what's going on a little bit better. This, there's a connection down here, but we'll add that to the board later. OK. So I moved there, took my damage. I have another movement. Yeah, I can move one more space. I'll move one more space closer. And my short bow is, does have a range of three. So I can actually hit that raider from where I am. I shall do so. 
Oh, you know what? I didn't level up. <gasps> you skipped it. No. Should we do that real quick? Yeah, because you hadn't gone before. Yeah. So you have four, so this goes down to zero now? It goes to zero. I'm leveling up. So I actually gain a health. So I'm at level two. I get two, two yellow actions. So that's great, because I definitely need the health. And then I get to choose a new talent. I chose it before we started, because I knew it was going to happen. I'm going to choose Meditation. This is going to let me shift my powers forward or backwards. Like the more event. Are the enemies going to do an encounter again after your turn? Uh-huh. I am going to die. Yeah. You have to kill the raider. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't think I can kill the raider. <laughs> <laughs> I will use one of my yellow actions to focus the attack. So it'll be extra damage. Okay. And, I oh, you know what I will do? I will use my uh, cursed arrows. Let's use this. And then... Um, you might have to heal me. I might have to heal you, yes. Okay, let's do that for now. So I need to roll my two blue dice. And I'm looking for a lightning bolt, ideally, to do the bleed effect. That's what I want. Okay, here we go. That is not how you do it. I rolled... Um, sorry about that, guys. We'd like to see that. I'm going to put it here. Roll the damage and a star and a shield. The shield is nothing, but at least the damage hits. So the damage plus my damage here plus another one is three damage coming at them. He has a armor on, so he's taking two. He is taking two. That's correct. Okay. That is my attack. I do have another action I can use. Is healing me an action? Uh, it's a free action, but I have to be in your spot, which oh. I cannot do. But what I will wind up doing, I think, is seeing if I can't. I got too close. You did get too <laughs> I close. I shouldn't have gone that far. Yeah, I don't think I can. I'm looking at what vials I can get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this ability to get a vial. Um, yeah, I'm going to get my poison vial so I can try to poison those guys. And that, that's going to be all, I, all I'm going to do. Okay. All right. All right. Bad guys encounter. Um. Yes, encounter card for bad guys. Ah. Ha! Activate no enemies. Shuffle the encounter deck and discard pile in the discard pile, and then discard the card. Yeah. So every once in a while you do get a break, and this is the break. They don't activate. They're kind of I needed that. There. I'm alive. You're alive. I'm alive. Um. And that goes to discard, and you shuffle the rest of the cards. Okay, so now what we do is we discard the card on top of the encounter deck, or the event deck, and then we go to time phase. So time phase is you're taking two damage, and then you can roll for I save. Roll. Come on, I have to save this, otherwise I'm dead. Lightning bolt. No! I'm dead next turn. You gotta kill me. I do have to heal you. Okay. Okay, what are you going to do? I think I need to go first so I can heal yeah. you now. Yes. Okay. I can't use my accurate shot. Because you have to move to get to me. Or do you want me to run away? Because I can throw my hammer at the raider. Yep. And then run away. Well, no, because then they're they're going to engage and come after me. Uh, maybe. That's actually a good question. Because let's say you kill the blue raider. Let's not make any assumptions. Well, he's got three health. Let's not make any assumptions. It's fair, it's fair. The spider, let's look at what he does real quick. So, can he see us from that can, position? Yeah, I'm in Where's line of access? sight. I'm in line of sight. But if you move us. away, he won't be able to see us. So he's going to do the last part. So he's going to attack the person with the... No, he's going to move, and then whoever he sees will get shot. But if I'm in your No, spot... because he's going to attack this priority target up here. Who's that? Which is the person who has the least amount of health, I believe. Which is me. Which is you. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah, I think you have to go first. Okay. 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 So I will shoot my bow and I might as well focus it. Well, I take that back. Why? I can throw my hammer no, he's two away. Never mind. I was gonna throw my hammer. Oh, no, that's right, it's fine. I will focus my attack. 
I don't think I need to use my cursed arrows. Because with my bow, I already am going to get two, two immediate damage because I'm focusing it. He's got armor. You have to hit him four times. Four times? He has one armor. He has three health left. He has three health, so you need to do four damage. Oh, yeah, four damage, you're right. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, I will, I will do my bleed. I'll do my bleed. Okay, right, here we go. I need, honestly, a lightning bolt. That's what I need. Here we go. That is not how you do that. No. Okay, so I got uh, three damage minus one. He takes two. It's close. It is close. Not enough. Okay, I can do stuff. I'll move up to your spot. I'm going to use this healing potion on you. Heal me four. Heal four. And then I get to do, because my special ability, so every time you use a potion, I roll a die. If I roll an SS, I don't discard it. So here we go. Ah, oh, we would have lost it. Okay. Okay. That goes in the Emporium. But you are at least healed now. So. Six. Yep. Okay. That is. I still have a yellow action. So I do have a corrosive vial I grabbed. I can throw this and, like, certainly kill that guy. Or I can throw it at the, the spider instead. How much damage is it going to do? Uh, a red dice. But it's going to poison them, which is going to be nice. Well, that's your call. Let's go after... If I'm in the space with... Now, here's, here's the way the tax comes in. If I'm in the space with this guy, what is he going to do? He's going to go after the... Oh, this is the most wounded. Am I the most wounded now? I have two. Oh, no, we, we're tied. We're the same. So we can we can pick who he goes after. What's the spider gonna go after? He's gonna actually heal himself. Oh, the bad guy's gonna heal. Yeah. Oh, throw the bomb at him. Yeah, because he's gonna use healing potion because he is wounded. So yeah, I will use my corrosive vial. Let's chuck it at him. So let's go ahead and roll die and see what happens. I mean, uh, I can't focus this, but we'll, we'll deal some damage. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. He missed. I still poison him. I still break him. So he now doesn't have any armor, and now he is poisoned. You should have done that first, and then shoot him. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Because uh, he would be dead by now. But when he goes, he's going to trigger, and then he'll die, though, no. right? Oh. He's going to activate like normal. All right, encounter. All right, that's all I can do. Just fail you is what I can do. Okay. We really should have done that in a different order. We should have. All right. We should have. Activate all wounded enemies. All right, so only the raider is activating. Yep, so he's going to engage me, and then he's going to heal four. Full health. Full health. Time well spent. <laughs> yep. But he's gonna move to engage and attack with sword. So he's gonna attack me with a sword. So one damage and two red dice. So I'm gonna roll two red dice, two happens. Hit and S. Um just two damage actually. I do have a magic shield, and then I roll one blue dice to see if I block it. So let's see if I block it. I do, so no damage. Okay, good. You just kinda of run up and hit and healed. That's it. It is your turn. Okay. Do I when do I take my poison? Right now? No, at the start of the turn. Oh yeah, because you went first because you had to heal me. Um, I am going to. He's broken, so he doesn't have a shield. Doesn't have a shield. We didn't put that token on, but just I, remember. No, I didn't grab it. Sorry. Um, so I'm just going to swing my axe at him. Okay. Because that's two damage. Oh wait, he's minus one on slash though, or that's blunt. Nope, this is, I'm good. Uh. That's only one die. Yep. I'm going to use my hammer. Because that's two dice. Even with the blunt? No, it's arcane. Okay. Right? Yeah, it's fine. That makes more sense. The hammer over the axe. Okay. Right? Sure. Yeah. Are you going to charge up? Are you going to focus it? Or are you going to just attack <laughs> normally? Um, an extra attack with the hammer. You can extra attack the hammer anytime. 
any time. I could attack with my axe first and then do the hammer, or I sure. have to. You could do axe and then hammer, or do hammer then hammer again. What do you want? I'm gonna try the axe first because that's two damage for sure. Okay. Okay. Roll the die. That's the wrong die. Okay, that's good because um, it's another hit and a lightning bolt is a hit, so that's four damage. Four damage, no armor, so he takes. He takes four, four hits. damage. That's He's got excellent. one life. Take that. Um, then should I just do the extra attack with the hammer now and get rid of him? If you want to. I think I'm going to. Or should I charge up? No, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. I mean, if you don't, him. he's going to attack. Yeah, I'm going to so. discard this, and then okay. I'm attacking with my hammer. Okay. For Yeah. That is a hit, shield, and a lightning bolt. So he's KO'd, and he's dead. Cool. Got him. All right. And we get 10 gold, and what you can pick up immediately, and then a soul gem. Okay. Okay. One. And then you... That was just your... Attack that was just and your my yellow attack. action. And my, yes. So now you can move if you would like to. Um, Let's see no, if you want to move. The spider scares me. The spider can't see us right now. Can yes, it? he can. We are in line of sight of the spider. Okay. So he is going to, he's one of two ways. He's going to attack the web at the person who has the least amount of health, which is me. So he's going to attack with web. And then he's attack with web again. So attack with web twice. Is basically what he's going to do. Why twice? Because we're together. So can I run away? Oh, you know what? You we had supremacy bonus. You didn't have to attack the other hammer. You have your yellow action. We get an extra damage. Oh. Because we're together. Oh. So you have a yellow action still and a movement. And a movement. You can move and throw your hammer at the spider. Oh, but then I'm going to be closer and he'll attack me. No, he'll attack me still. That's the cool thing about this game. It doesn't go for... How it works is, if you're... It looks at range 1 and 2 combined. It will go after the person with the least amount of health in range 1 and 2, oh. which is me. Okay. So even though you're closer, he's going to go after the person in the back row. Which is uh, which I, I really wish more games did this. Because I, I love that, how it's just not like the closest person all the time. But then why would he attack twice if I was staying in your spot? He would attack twice uh, because he's going to try and trap me instead. Okay. Well, I feel like I should use my action to try to get charges so I can start healing myself because of my poison. Okay. But I am going to move. Okay. So. You know, draw him out or draw him to try and trap me? That's fine. Well, it's fine. Do it. Do you want. This do is, it. is that better for you or worse for you? I. I think it's better than getting attacked twice. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to try to um, charge up my hammer. Yeah, one charge. One charge. I'll take it. And then draw a counter guard. Activate up to two enemies. So he is activating. So he is going to move, attack the web at me. So you just get one damage, three blue dice. Shield, gremlin. Star damage. So he's going to do two damage and slow me. So I'm going to be slowed. Um, and I get to roll two blue dice to see if I can block that damage coming at me. I roll the shield. And, and so one damage comes through. And I am slowed. Okay. What's and slow I, again? You I just... really like these tokens that they add in the game. So now I put this on my character card at, at this level. Slow means I can only do a movement. Attack or yellow action. That's Just it. One, Just one. one of your choices. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then it says, if the victim is slowed, which I am, and there are no other heroes in the area, it will move to engage, so it's going to engage me, and then it's going to entrap me. Which means the victim suffers a knock over, and then, unless saved, suffers one hit point. So I'll go ahead and move in my spot. He's going to knock me down. Yeah. And then I did not save, so I take a dam no damage. Oh boy. That's bad. The bad thing is I'm slowed, and I can only stand up. So my next turn is going to be worthless. Okay, that is it. We are now on the event phase, so we flip it over, see what we get. 
Hidden Trap. Draw a trap card. Apply its effects starting from the active hero's area, which is you. Okay, nice. Boom. Okay. All right. Now it's time phase. Okay, so take down my healing. And you take a damage. Take a damage. Two damage for my poison. And then you roll for save. A blue dice? Yep. Nope. No. Uh oh. Okay. Now it's our turns. I think I should go first to try to hit the spider. Because now the spider is going to go after you still. It is going to go after me, yes. It's going to try to trap me again. And plus, any, when I go, I'm just going to stand up. There's nothing else I can do. Is it okay? Should I? I feel like if I go in your space... You won't get the bonus because I'm knocked over. Oh. I'll just try to throw the hammer a couple times. Okay. Or should I go in your space anyway and use... Oh, I can't because my heal card's tapped. You Did you click your heal card, by the way? I did. Uh, I, no, went, he, he, I went the wrong way. I was saying, why are you at four? I went the wrong way. I'm sorry. I'm at two. <laughs> Speaking of making the game harder. <laughs> That's right. So I'm going to throw my shield, even though You're it's a only... Hammer. Yeah, even though it's only one damage. He only has four health. You can potentially kill it with two throws. Okay. Okay. That does nothing. It's a KO and an extra damage. So two damage and a KO. What is a KO? Do Knocked over. So two damage. Okay. So you can flip it up, flip it over. There you go. Just means you can't use its armor value, which it doesn't have any anyway. Okay, I'm gonna use my hammer to throw again. Okay. You just need two more, and then I save you. Yep. Come on. No, it's just one. Just one. You roll a gremlin. Ah, uh, and I can't do that again. That was a really bad roll. That was a terrible roll. Like none of my other stuff hit. <laughs> um I mean, but I have two actions right now. That's no, two powers. No, that's two powers. two powers. Two powers. You're done. <sighs> Shoot. Strong counter card. Do I want to move into your spot? Would that benefit you at all? If you did it would still go after... What's your health at? Four. It's still got to me. Okay. I'm sorry, Steve. I tried. Okay. Activate all engaged enemies. So, yeah. So he's going to engage with me. So he's going to... He's knocked over. Doesn't matter. He's, he immediately stands up. They, a knocked over doesn't do anything for the bot, bad guys, really. So if the victim is slowed, which I am, use and trap. So it's going to trap me again. Um, I'm already knocked down. Doesn't matter. So basically, I need to do a save or a suffer damage. Okay, so I need to roll a shield with this roll. I did not, so I take a damage. Don't you have your magic shield? Nope, this is suffers. Oh. And then he's going to attack with bite. Bite is two red dice and potentially poison me. So I'm going to roll two red dice. I am I'm dead, guys. I'm not going to lie. That's a hit and an S. S does nothing. The hit will hit me. Lucky doesn't poison me. So the hit, I have a magic shield, so I block that. And then he's moving away one area. So he's moving to your area. Okay. But he, you didn't die. I did not die. I'm at one life. That's I'm, still alive. <laughs> and I'm slowed, so I'm just going to stand up. And that's all I can do. Okay. Go ahead. Draw an encounter card. <laughs> That's so bad. You okay? You are dead. Yeah, you are dead. Now. Activate all enemies in full health. Otherwise, all enemies and minions use their um action. Yes. Power. So they have a special power here. Shadow strike. This is what's gonna do. If engaged, which it is, attack with its secondary weapon, and move one area away. So it's gonna web you now. Okay. And then run away. So it's gonna have uh, one damage from three blue dice. Uh, two hits, a star, a gremlin, and a lightning bolt. So the star is going to slow you. So you're slow. Welcome to the party. You're slow. And two damage. So three damage is coming at you. Three damage. But I can try to block all One that. is blocked, and you roll two blue dice. 
Yeah, I tell you, High Dwarf, the, the enemies are a lot, a lot harder in this game, I feel like. You uh, blocked both. I did. You're good. Yeah. Well, I think I flipped one of those. Well. I, I feel like it was a different thing. Well, whatever. I moved it. What was it before I touched it? It's fine now. Don't worry about it. Okay. It's fine. You blocked it. So you're good. All okay, right. But you're slowed, and then he's going to move away one area. But yeah, I agree with you, High Dwarf. They, I think the enemies are a lot harder in this one. And, we're, like, we're struggling. I'm at one life. Kim's at four. This is not good. Yep. So I'm slow. Should I? Did you already go though? No, I did. Yes. Yes. Never mind. I went and then you went. Why did the enemy go? Because you went. And oh, this is my came. activation. So yeah. now it's time phase. You saw two shields. Okay, good. Not cheating. I saw two shields. Okay, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> okay. So we discard the card from the event deck and then we go to the next time phase, which means you're taking poison damage. Mm-hmm. So you're at lovely two. Hopefully you save. Uh, I have to, otherwise game over. Lightning bolt. No. <laughs> yeah, you're poisoned to death. Uh. I there's a there's an ability I can get that I can get. Not in time though. Not in time because I have to level up. We we can't level up. Yeah. You're gonna be a ghost this game. I'm gonna be a ghost. Yep. Okay. Um Okay, so now it is our turns. Yeah. Okay. Can you shoot that guy? Um can I see where I am? Yes, you are in line of sight. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Should I give him my movement? I feel like you should rush through the door and maybe something good will happen. <laughs> well, me so, at one life and you at two life? Yeah. <sighs> Charge! Because the thing is, I have this accurate shot, which is really cool, but I, I, in order to do it, I can't move. All right, fine. Wait. Well, I don't only say that because if we wait, I'm going to die from the poison. You're dying no matter what. I don't see a way of stopping that. All right, fine. Play it safe for you. I mean, I can run up there. I no, guess. just shoot him. Okay. Shoot him. Um, how much damage did he Oh, he has one health left? Oh, I don't yeah, have Yeah, I was so shot. close to killing him. I don't have the accurate shot. I'll just shoot and shoot normally. And then you can run anyway? Yeah. Okay. Because I have... You know what? I don't even have to roll. Because I have one on my, on my damage. It, that's enough. I don't have to roll. So, yeah, he's dead. Okay. So you get five coins. Five coins to that spot. And then I will move... One, two, three. I'll move up to the spawn point. Okay. There's... And I'll pick up the coin as I go. I have an action. I've got two actions, actually. Um... Do you have any, like, special potions to help me? No. Well, here's what I can get. I do have my ability ready to go with now. I can get another vial. I can always get this corrosive vial, which is pretty cool. I like the poison a lot on that. I can get this one, which blinds them, which is nice. Um... This one lets you get powers back and more actions. So that's pretty nice. But it's not going to help you for saving or anything. Um, this one, move to target here's area. Ignore, so I can teleport to you, which is nice. Um, this one, the enemy can... I can increase the body condition on them. So basically, I can either slow them or make it whatever condition I have works for them. Okay. And the last thing I can pick is on the flip side of this one, which I like a lot. Doppelganger. I can make myself look like an enemy okay. and then attack with them with their abilities, which is really fun. So with all that, though, you can't save me. There's no way I can okay. save you with that, no. All right, so there's no enemies, so I'm not going to draw an encounter card. Well, the question is, do I want to open the door? With one life? You might as well, because I haven't gone yet. But the problem is, if I die... Then we both die, and then we lose. Correct. But then I have to open the door eventually. Yeah, you might as well just do it now. The, the, the here's the thing if i wait you will die bad things happen but you can respawn because we have how much experience one right. so you can come back at at soul rank one as my character not a ghost yes that is probably smarter at full life you will drop a level High dwarf says the same thing yeah wait till she respawns yeah, yeah i think that's a safe bet because otherwise if we're both ghosts we, we lose the game yeah okay so i will wait um I think I'll get the because I'm in so low life. I think I'll get the doppelganger vial with my special ability. So, okay, that is it for me. 
Um, My turn. I'm just going to move here and then... Perish. Perish. Well, you will. <laughs> so now event phase. If we flip this over. Lost treasure. Cool. So draw a treasure card. Magic potion, magic potion. Heal me. It's uh, Aaron's robe. Cool. So we got some magic and faith characters. So either of us can wear this because you are faith, I'm magic. Three magic shields, which is awesome. Uh, two dice, and then you can get um, more shields there. And if you have equipped it at the beginning of the quest, you get extra power. Unfortunately, this is Act 2, so we can't use it yet. Okay. Um, I... It's in the spot. You should pick it up. Okay. You need, you need I can protection. Carry it. I can carry yeah. it. I can't use it. Oh, you can't? No. Why not? It's How do we level 6? Oh, you just said that, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ghost form. What do I do? Well, lose? now we do time phase. Now you take... Now you die. Now I die. Okay, yep. so... But, you drop down a level. Okay. You reset everything. And now uh, you lose... Because you lose an ability, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to lose uh, one of your powers. Which would have to be this one. You can't get your hammer anymore. <gasps> My hammer! Yep. But the nice thing is you can... On your turn, you can respawn. So basically, here, let's walk through, walk through this. So you have nothing. I have know. nothing. Yep. So this is her her state, and you can grab your your, your uh, spirit over there. Over there. Yep. So when you go go to the form, she can um can do these three activities. So you can move five, recall. Recall means you just appear at the at the spawn point, and then um you have a soul shout. Which means you can target enemies potentially and hit them. I'm just gonna do the recall and then I just pop up right here. Yeah, basically. Well no, yeah, recall, so you're there, and then you can spend the the soul gem to resurrect you. The one we have. I'm spending the one we have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure So, but I come back and I still have my armor and my axe and my shield. No, anything in your inventory drops. Which I don't think you had any oh you had that I had this chain mail. It's equipped, you're okay. It's equipped, okay. Yep. yep. Um, during each time phase, so you can't do it yet. Oh, wait, no, maybe you can, because you could you could die. If you didn't move, let's say you didn't move, because that make, makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I know. We should get some not-so-crazy upgrades. <laughs> I agree. Um, it's shuffled. It's, it's a huge deck. I can shuffle it again. Go ahead. Um... So, if you didn't move, it would make more sense, because you would die in that spot, and then you could, in the same time phase, resurrect. So, let's let's say you didn't move. That oh. was, it was really dumb for you to move, to be honest. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, drop down. You Now you're at full health, and you're alive. Seven. Oh, all right, because you don't have your level. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, now it's your turn. No, now it's our turns. Oh, that wasn't, like, an actual turn. I was a ghost. I did that thing. That's all during time phase. Oh. Okay. All time based. So it is. Um, I feel like I shouldn't stand next to the door. Should I run away and let have you open the door? That was dumb for you to go right next to the door. I'll go open the door, but you might want to just stay there. It. I'll get hit if you draw something. Because you're gonna waste your turn there. Yeah, basically. Basically, yes. Or I'll die. Or I'll, I'll save it and I'll be okay. Ah, I'll just, just do it. Save it. Let's save it. We'll okay. save it. Okay, I'll uh, use my action. I'll go first. Open the door. You want to go first? Yeah, open you the door. You want me to go first? Okay. Yeah. Draw a trap card, please. Darkness. Unless save, each hero within two areas suffers blind. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. I saved it, so nothing happens, basically. Ah! Good. Good. Well done, sir. Did you guys do the event phase? We did. It was a lost treasure. Wait, did we? Yes, we got the lost treasure. Yep. We didn't discard the card yet. We did get the treasure. Because that was the last time it appeared in that spot. That's correct. We did do the event phase. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Icing Death. 
So that was my action, and now we can move into that area. Um, the question is, I think there is a... Oh, it's two actions to move in there, because this is a difficult to move through. So it's one, two, I have another action. Another move, right? <laughs> another move. Yeah. I'll move up into, into the search area. Search, okay. Yes. And I am not going to do anything yet. Because I have a special ability where I can reroll my search dice. So I'm not going to do anything for my other action. Okay. One, two, three, three four. four. I do a four move because I'm a runner. You could uh, dash again if you wanted to get to the, this area. If you wanted. No, I want to roll. Oh, you want to charge, charge up? Okay. Yeah. Got one. And that's it. Now we do the event phase. So event phase is we had this face up, so it just gets discarded. Now it's next time phase. Okay. I would like to go first. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my yellow action. I have this innate ability on my thing. Curiosity, once per round, reroll a search dice. I'm going to use my yellow action to do that. So one action to reroll, one action to uh, open up that search. So let's flip it over and see what it is. So this is what we got. If I roll a lightning bolt, it's a trap. If I roll a star, it's a, a bag of loot. And this one is a blue die, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what it was. I always forget. Oh, it's a red die. Yeah, it's a red die. All right, and I can reroll this red die. Here we go. I need a star. Boom, got it. All right, you get a bag of Loot. Flip it over, see what it is. Yeah. I want to flip these over. I don't want to see them. You grab the other one then. Okay. Doesn't you matter. get this one. Sweet. We get a treasure. That is the best thing in that. Okay. We get this one, which is Act 2, which means you need to be level 3 to get it or use it. So it's this is an artifact. Uh, has four charges. And when defending, you can get plus plus one defense for each uh, energy you use. So you can boost it up to, to block extra stuff. But we can't use it yet. Okay. Um, I can still hold it. I'm at max capacity, though. Okay. So. Okay. That is it for me. My turn? Your turn. Stand on this? Yep. Walk on that. Okay. So now we do story event two, two point one nine. As the heroes enter the underground area, they realize they're not alone. A man wearing an outfit they saw during the attack on the city appears at the end of the tunnel and calls out, "The Shadow Guild likes not unexpected visitors. This will be your grave." As he speaks, he drops a long leather leech leash, releasing a large gremlin with spirited eyes. It moves away down the corridor. The same moment, an iron grate falls down from the ceiling, isolating the, the room while other gremlins emerge from the walls. The heroes immediately realize they must annihilate these beasts to be able to follow the man to his hiding place. Place a red gremlin in story event 2 area, which is where you were. When the red gremlin dies, remove it from the quest. Okay, That means he's not going to be shuffled into the deck. If there are three heroes, which are not, spawn one gremlin, and place it in each area on top of the 6A map tile. In clockwise order. Okay. So here we have to put a, another another guy. Another gremlin. Which one? Uh, reveal the top card of the deck until you get a gremlin. Spider. Dinosaur. I think there's only a green gremlin in there. Green. Okay. That's the one. Okay. Where does he go? He goes right here. Right here? Right here. Right here. Yes. Okay. And then... Place a locked door on the connecting edges between 6A and 12B, which is right here. A locked door appears. And open the spawning gate here, which is off the board. Remove the star spawning gate. This is gone. Um, place the story event two card on top of the deck. Okay, cool. 
So we are locked behind this door, and we can't go anywhere. We'll connect the rest of the map once we get past it, but basically we need to try to survive. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So you just moved. I you just moved. You have stuff you can do. Your old pal is back for a second round. Yes, he <laughs> yes. is back. Oh, does he start with a, does he spawn with, um. Wait, I need the bad guy card. It's up, up at the top there, underneath the events. Um. This? Yeah, in that pile. It should be the red red one. Yeah, he's back. I think that's hard. That guy's no joke. He is really tough. He is tough. Um, did I not grab him? Oh, you're grabbing like one card at a time. No, I'm just... <laughs> there he is. Yes, he starts with a power. He comes in place with a power. Okay, so power... After defending, unless saved, the attacker becomes slowed. Oh man, he's got frost skin. That is. Oh, that's which I'm him. actually hardened by frost, so. Oh, okay. Um, I can save it and ignore the condition. Sweet. Okay. So you still have any things you can do? Yeah, I do. I'm going to. Oh man, the red guy is good against slash. I mean, that's all you have. That's all I have. I'm going to attack him. Okay. You have a yellow action. I you do. You could charge up, or you could just focus I it. I think I'm going to focus it. Okay. So you can have three damage and roll blue dice. Yes. Okay. Not so just three damage, damage, minus one for his slash, minus, minus one, one for armor, so armor. one's coming one through. One damage. Nope, he rolls two blue dice, or roll one dice, and see if he blocks it. No. He does not block, he does take damage. Okay. He has one. six life. After defending, unless save, the attacker becomes slow. So okay. you need to try saving. You need a lightning bolt. You no. did not get it? What happens when you're slowed? Um. Before suffering a health condition. Attempt to save. If, if I succeeded, I would have ignored it. But Okay, so now do it. Now try it. Now, now roll again. You actually roll twice. Oh, spines. If the enemy suffers damage, all here's never suffer damage. Yes, you take a damage. Thank oh, you so much, High Dwarf. I appreciate One. that. So, so now you have to. Oh, so the first save I tried was for this card. The second save I'm trying now is for my special Innate. hardened Correct. by frost. You can okay. roll twice, basically, in okay. this condition. One for the his ability. One because it would have hit you. Normally. Doesn't matter. I still didn't save it. <laughs> Okay, you're slowed. Um, and... That's it. I could run. Well, I'm slow. No, you, you already moved. You can't move again. You're, oh, yeah, you're done. Okay. okay, so now we see what happens. So draw an encounter card. I don't have a good feeling about this. No, it's not good. Activate all triangle. Dexterity and enemies. Which is both ground lines. Okay. Okay, so let's have the green one go first. Um, so he is no one did zero. He's going to look at range one to two. Who has the most money? I do. Okay. He's coming after me. He's going to engage me and attack with things. So now a good distance, he can make it yep. to you. Yep, just runs right there. He rolls two red dice. He hits with two damage. I have a magic shield, and I get to roll one blue dice. Let's see what I get. Blocked it. I'm good. Hi, <laughs> Dwarf. Hey, you need one of those treasures that increases your saves. Yeah, no kidding. Really Especially for Kim. I can't hope that I don't roll well. Yeah, your saves are... I mean, you, I mean, to be fair, your Lightning Bolt is not a very good save, but still, you, should, it's, you haven't rolled a single save, I don't think. Meh. <laughs> Alright, what's so, the red guy doing? So that's it for the green guy. The red guy is going to... Because he's going to go after the one who's most wounded. I am. You're most wounded, okay. This is interesting because it's zero, zero to one, that's what it is. So move to engage and he's attacked with claws. His claws is three dice and he goes through one armor. So he's gonna roll three red dice. Oh dear. Two lightning bolts and two hits and this S. Lightning bolt is nothing, S is nothing. So it's two damage coming at you. You have three blue dice and you roll two blue dice. I have five damage coming at me, right? No. No. Oh. Just two. Just two? I can roll two dice? Yeah, just two dice. 
<laughs> I dwarf. Yes, I don't think in two games she has saved. I think you're right on that one. All right, I rerolled that one because it was cocked, but it didn't help me. So I blocked one, and I have a no. You know, he is minus one. So you take one damage. Okay. I'm at one life. This is crazy. Okay, so that was it. We're down to the event phase. This just gets discarded. And then we do time phase. Um, time stuff. Uh, does this go away? My uh, slowed? I, yeah, I think only... If, uh, that's a good question. When does slow go away for you? Um, discarded at the end of the hero... Active enemy activation. Yeah, it was during your turn. I think you get rid of it. Yep. That's that's true. So you're no longer slowed. Okay. Okay. Which is weird because you like you gained the slowed effect, but because after the slow effect you didn't do anything, it would it would go away. Yeah, because I gained it at his engagement. Because technically, if you gain it in the middle of your turn, it would immediately take effect. So you can only do one thing after that, and then it would go away. So it would still take effect, but you basically chose not to do anything, which is a, effectively the same thing. So it was a good, good time. Well, I couldn't do anything because I used all my action. True, it was just good timing for you. Okay, so it is our turns. Are we sure you did that right? Uh, it says it says here, discard it at the end of the hero turn or enemy activation. Oh, okay. So yeah. So now what are we doing? Hero, hero stuff. Do you want me to go, or do you want to go? Um, you, you, I'll go. Or should, should you go first? You have one life. What are you going to do? Because if they activate again, you're probably going to die. Yeah, I could. I do have my doppelganger, so I can make, I can make it look like I'm a green gremlin and attack him with his own, own stuff. I think you should go first and hopefully kill one, because there's no way I'm going to kill the red guy on my turn. Okay. I might be able to shoot the red guy from my position, too. So let me use my doppelganger vial for my yellow action. So until time phase, I cannot be directly targeted by enemies, because I look like a grim. I select an enemy in my area, which is only the green guy, and I can attack with the damage and all the dice as that guy. Good. He's only got three life. You can totally... So what does that. he have? He has... Claws. Claws, which is just two red dice. So I'm rolling two red dice. I could focus this attack. I think I will. Because I have two yellows. Save doppelganger for red guy, maybe? Uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. Um, I'm at one life, though. That's, that's my only hesitation. Because if I kill this green guy, I can use my regular combat action to shoot the red guy from my position. You won't kill him. You're going to do five damage to him. Right. Can you, you can only doppelgang a guy in your space? To make only in my space, him? yep. I mean, the the other alternative, getting to what uh, High Dwarf is saying, is I could instead shoot my bow at the green guy, run into your space, and then doppelgang there. Which could work as well. It, it would be dependent on me killing the guy with my short bow. Which, if you focus it, I think you can. But if two focus blue. it, I could do it. Then I, think, I think that I think that's a better idea. Okay, so I, I'll I'll do what you're suggesting, High Dwarf. But I'll use my bow and hit the guy in my spot. I have focus his attack, so I've got two straight damage. You just have I, to hit him one time. Yeah, just get him one once. more time on a dice. So let's roll those two. Boom! Got it. Okay. Good. So good. he is dead. You get to go up. Okay, mm -hmm. now that he's no longer there, uh, let's go ahead and move. Oh, Why did you get I don't move? know. Oh, okay. Go ahead and move me into that area. And now doppelgang the red guy. Yep, now I can doppelgang the red guy. I can't boost this, but I can at least doppelgang it. So where's my doppelgang card? Here it is. Okay, so let's do it. And I'm going to use the red guy's attack, which is three. It doesn't. It says attack target me with the same blah, 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 blah. So yeah. I think I just used his ability completely. I think I still get the minus one for that. So I do go through his armor. Okay. So that's really cool. I roll three red dice and see what happens. Okay. There you go. Hey! You're like freaking out now. Are you playing this game? You saw <sighs> me running around the corner and now you got two red gremlins in your spot? <laughs> <laughs> 
That is a lot of lightning bolts, which do, does nothing for me, unfortunately. But you got two more hits. I get two more hits. He does have two blue dice, so roll two blue dice for him. No. Correct. Nothing. So he does take two damage. Okay. He's oh. Oh. Wait a second. This is bad. What? Um, because... Is he attacking you? Aren't you red? He can't see you. This enemy suffers damage. All heroes in its area suffer damage. Do oh. I die? I cannot be directly targeted by enemies. Yeah, I still die. Are you a hero right now? You're a gremlin. Yeah, yeah. I dwarves. I forgot about spines. I did too. It would have made more sense for me to do that opposite. Where I did. Well, I appreciate your sacrifice. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that's really dumb. It, it was smart because we just forgot about spines. Okay, well, it is what it is. Flip me over. And I'm at rank one now. And... Say you did it. Say you did what you wanted to do. If I did what I wanted to do, I'd be back in that spot and then... I would have dealt on damage. You would have. I would still have been alive, and you could st still attack him. Oh, say you did. That's what High yeah. says. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's say we do it. Did. So right. what would so be is would be. That. Okay. Let's re yeah wreck on that completely. So I would roll against the green guy. What I what, what I roll? You did the... three hits on the green guy. The green guy is dead. Well, I'd have to use my reroll. Re yeah, okay. I'd have to use. I used his attack, which is technically two. So let's do this, and I would have focused it. Yes. So you just have to hit him once. Yes. No, he's got three oh, health. Yeah, he's yeah. got three health. Yep, got it. Okay, so he's dead. So he's dead. So, so that's this... enough to doppelgang and take him out. Okay, and so now... this red guy is one life. One red damage. guy is at full life. Oh, no, one. You, one hit him. you hit him. Right. So now what I can do is I can use my accurate bow instead. So I already, I can't focus because I use both my yellow actions, but this one at least I can use this ability. And what I'm going to do even better is I'm going to use my cursed arrows as well. So let's try let's try this because maybe I can get him bleeding. So I'm going to yeah roll two blue dice and see what I get. Oh, I get supremacy bonus because you're in that spot. Boom. Okay. Yeah. So I get plus one. There we go. I can reroll this. So I get, uh, that's pretty good. A lightning bolt, which is for bleed. I don't need the star. I could try to reroll this for extra damage. I'll leave it. Is it the. It is a damage already. You could roll not damage. I would take the damage. Take damage? Okay. So one, two, because supremacy bonus. Three, four, four damage. Plus a bleed two effect. Oh wait, it also does one more damage. Five. So he's got six damage. You just killed him. One, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, but he's got five minus, minus one. one. Yeah, five minus his, one. His armor, and he's gonna roll two blue. So he's got four coming at him. He's got two blue, which he blocks none of it. So he takes four damage. So he's at five. Oh, good question. So, Ice and Death, you both don't have to be on the spot. So, kind of. How it works is if you're attacking the area. Oh, wait, no, I don't get a supremacy bonus. So, I'll take away one health. Yeah, I'll take away one. Okay. So, he's just at four. Let me just go that way. Because you count the area you're, you're targeting, but you don't count yourself in that area. Uh, I can't. I think you do. I think you do. It's it's weird because it's range, right? Um, it says, I was just thinking bigger attack on red guy, but at one health, not worth it since he's not dominating as she is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good question on this supremacy bonus because it, it gets weird with the um, with the ranges. So, um, where is that supremacy bonus? Do, 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 do. 
Well, I'll check. I'm pretty sure... I thought you would get the bonus because if you're... So if you're attacking melee, you count all the enemies in that spot. If you're attacking range, it's it's like you are affecting that area, right? So I think you count it as... As yourself plus who's ever in the area you're attacking? I thought That's how so. You're it. I thought so. I might be completely wrong on that, though. Um... Where's the supremacy bonus? Um, there we go. Affect stuff here. Oh, here it is. Twelve. I just can find it. So yeah, that's a good question. Um, to check or determine control domination area if, if, by fr a faction must be performed this time. They call for an area. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember exactly. I thought I thought you would count it as a range attack, but I I might be wrong on that. I'll have to check that up. Let ice and death. I don't want to take too much time looking up here. But yeah, spines damage. <laughs> but regardless, um, they're gonna die. So did you take away the damage? I did. Okay, that's fine because it doesn't matter because I did a bleed two effect. Okay. So they're at four life. The next time they activate, they're gonna take two damage before they do anything else, which is enough to kill them. So, so it's it, before it, he does spines to me? No, spines is happening, okay, unfortunately. so give me some damage. Yeah, unfortunately spines is happening. Um, and then it does it does the frost thing after defending. You have to... Oh, wait, the attacker becomes slowed. So he's going to try to slow me. So let's see if I get slowed. I saved it, so I'm good. Okay, okay so now we do encounter card. Activate all lightning bolt enemies, otherwise activate two. Okay, so he's going to activate, and guess what? As soon as he does something, his bleed 2 effect's going to happen, and he dies. So we get two soul gems and two loot. Why does this say 6 and 8 on the bottom? Good question. So, on here, on some of these big enemies, if you look down, the, it might be hard to read on the camera. There's actually a 2 and a 3 underneath the first number, and a 4 and a 5 underneath the second number. If you're playing 2 to 3 players, it's got 6 health. 4 to 5 players, it's got 8 health. So that's all that means. So we're playing 6 health. There's our loot. So we get a uh, 60, 60 coins. Nice. And two soul gems, which is probably more important. Yeah, I got those already. Good. Okay. It's so that spot. was me, right? Yeah. Okay. Can I just pick up the coins? I'm already there. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that was you. So now it's my turn. I just killed everything in the room with one health. That was wonderful. <laughs> after the retcon. Just yeah, kidding. You see nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like I should just charge. How many actions do you have? Just the one, because I'm at level one. You want to open the door instead? Do you want me to open the door? I feel like that's a good thing to do. Page, Page 34. 34. Side under image, you don't, don't get supremacy. Ah, thank you, Hydor. Thank you. So you choose the area that you're targeting, but you count the number of figures in there. Yes. Okay. Not not that the fact you're affecting it. Yes. So cool. Thank you for that. Either way, he dies in this situation, and we're okay. So. You want me to open the door first? Well, yeah, we have to get through it. I'm not opening the door. All right, I'll open the door. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Now the trap will get you in the. Now that trap will get you when the gremlin couldn't. Yes. Yes. I'm not sure what he means by the trap. When I when I open the door, but if you're far enough. Oh, away, correct. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's true. That's I, true. I hope it doesn't affect you. So this is. No trap. No Woo! Threats. No trap. No trap. Oh. Okay, um, let's go ahead and tear this down a little bit so we can connect this up. Um, keep that connected because we might need a spot there. Okay. Oh, that's one piece. Okay. So let's connect this up. Okay, so this is what's going on. And we're going to push this on to the side. That's awkward. It's okay. awkward. Okay. So at least you open the door, nothing, no trap. That's excellent. You still have your movement and everything. That was an action open the door? Yeah. Okay. Well, if I move here... You, we only flip this when you move into this zone. Okay, so one... What is this? this That's is a waypoint. Three, oh, number three. Yeah, uh, there's a little bit of lag here. But yeah, the trap was not range one. It was no trap, so even better. <laughs> So. I think I'll wait right there for you. Or do you want me to trigger the bad guy? I mean, 
Yeah, you can trigger the bad guy if you want. That's fine. Because I can move here, and then can I run away? You and get could out do of that. Line of sight? You so yeah, I'll do that. that. I'm going to move here. See How much speed do you have? You have one, two, I have You can actually four. run up to him, depending on what it is. One, two, three, four. You could. So I've only moved two. Let's see what it is. Okay, flip it over. Is that two bad guys? Yep, two bad guys. I'm running away. <laughs> Draw two cards. All right, so the first one is the green raider. raider. Yep. And then I have to shuffle the deck. He also comes in play with a special power. So his special power is terrifying. He counts as plus one figure when determining control. Wow. He's like an extra big guy. Intimidating. So they, by the way, enemies get the supremacy bonus as well. So that's not good. Back up. I'm going to. I'm yeah. Going to yeah. <laughs> it's for back up. Back up. Right. And then a blue raider. Ooh. Your blue raiders are coming out. Um, two. I'm going to go right here. That's You can't get that far. That's two movement again, that spot. Oh, the little foot. Okay. Yeah, just stay there. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. That's as far as I can go. Hide in my corner. Okay. So now draw your encounter card. Activate all purple enemies, otherwise activate all highest rank enemies. So that's going to be the blue enemy. So the blue raider is going to go, but not the green one. That's okay. So he is this card, and he doesn't have line of sight, so he's going to do this one. Move two areas towards the closest hero, blue guy, and attack the closest hero in line of sight with the two areas with a knife. So he's going to throw a knife, which is, oh crap. Poison, poison again? You're going to get poisoned no matter what. So uh... you get poisoned regardless what happens, so get poisoned. And two damage coming at you, so you block one vector, one will die. Lightning bolt. <gasps> defended. You, you defended it? I defended it. What? I used my shield. ka -ching. God. <laughs> yeah, you're poisoned, which is horrible. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Uh, time phase, or event phase. Here we go. You get a new event card, ambush, which is a good thing you revealed that, because spawn one enemy in each area containing a hero if no enemy is there already. Oh, what the heck. That's bad. It's a guy on my spot. Oh, wait. Check conditions here by hero. Yeah. You're going to get a guy on your spot. Unless... No, because it's spawn... Spawn one enemy in each area containing a hero if no enemies are there already. But it says spawn people minus enemy enemies. And it says check conditions here by hero. So is it that we're going to get zero enemies because we have two heroes and two enemies on the board? Right. Or do we get two more enemies? I assume we get zero enemies because why would it have the spawn on here? Why does it say spawn one enemy in each area though? Oh, true. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's spawn one enemy in each area. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so we're going to both get enemies. We're, we're done. You don't think you spawn any? You Oh, you don't think you spawn any? Because I can read it both ways. Spawn one enemy, or spawn the number of enemies. Well, yeah. Spawn equals that. Spawn one enemy. Because it says one enemy, it, this one doesn't scale. Because, okay, let's see what you say. Because they show up in your area instead of at the gate. Oh, I got your high dwarf. That makes sense. So we would spawn, we would spawn this number of this number of enemies, but we do one enemy in each area containing a hero. So first we look at this, and it's currently two minus two is zero. If that was any number other than zero, we would put each of those instead of spawning at the gate into our areas. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So I think I think you're right, high dwarf. That makes a lot of sense. So. The condition is the hero doesn't have any enemies. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're I, with you. I'm with you. Good call. Thank you. So yeah, the nice thing is because those are there, we don't get guys in our spot. Okay. So there's a good good reason why you peek around the corner. Time phase. You take two damage because that's what you do. I'm going to save this. And you need to save bolt. light bolt. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. No lightning bolt. <laughs> Just... uh... I, I see I see a problem here. 
Poison is horrible for your character. Yeah. Why are we playing traits? <laughs> um. So I'm at five. I will die next turn. I'm gonna use my one charge to heal to give myself one more turn. Will you take two? Oh yeah, you'd be at one life. Yeah, you can do that. You can try that. So the question is, do you want me to go first, or you want to go first to try get rid of that guy? Get rid of what guy? Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Blue Raider guy. He doesn't have any defensive abilities. Oh, wait, actually, he does have one. Um, if you move into his area, unless you save, he's going to attack you with swords. So don't move in his area. Well, I can't hit him otherwise. Yeah, there are lots of bandits in this first act. That's why that's why I changed it with some dragons. We haven't seen the I'm not dragons, the dinosaurs. Oh yeah, you don't have any range attack. So you know what? Maybe I'll do it. I'll go first. So let me move into your spot. I'm wondering if I go first and run away. Why? Oh, well, I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> did the did the poison happen since she took no damage? Correct. So your question here, icing death. Um, any, the conditions of this game are guaranteed. If if it says that you do poison, you do poison regardless if you do any damage whatsoever. It is very similar to Gloomhaven in that regard. And so the nice thing about this is, even though this is a dice chucker, with the conditions, you have a lot of control, a lot of knowns coming at you. Um, I have no control. I'm just taking it. Yeah, you're just taking damage. <laughs> the, the downside is, poison is really bad against her because she takes extra damage. So, but yes. So but that works for both heroes and enemies. So if they would do an effect to us, we automatically get it, even if we block all the damage. Mm -hmm. Now, in the past, if you did bash and critical, you needed to do at least one damage on your rolls. But that changed in the new rule set. Now it's bash and critical happen no matter what, and then any extra damage on top of that comes up later. All right, so I move there, and then I am going to shoot at him. Yes. He's got one armor. Good against blunt, but oh, you're not. I didn't do this. I should have been clicking this down. So we had. I'm at one. Yeah. Okay. okay. I forgot to uh, refresh my power. Sorry, guys. Um, so I move there. Let me use my bow. So my bow, I cannot. I move, so I can't do much with this. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to use my my cursed arrows here. So let's focus the attack. Okay. And yeah, that's all I can do. Focus attack. Let's roll the dice and see what we get. Be good, be good, be good. And I'm doing my yeah, so let's see what happens. That is absolutely horrible. No extra damage. I rolled this symbol, which means I lose my cursed arrows. No. So that goes back in the program. Okay, so I did one, two, just two damage. And just one, because of his armor. Correct, just one. That was absolutely horrible. Okay, encounter card. Yep. Activate one enemy of each rank. Okay, so the blue and green guys are going to go. So green, blue, red, and purple. Yep. So the green guy is, let's do him first. He can't see us, so he's going to move two areas towards the closest hero. And then attack the closest hero in line of sight with handbow. So he's going to attack. Uh, you or I? The most wounded. Which is you. Yes, he's going to attack me. Well, the most wounded. I have. Well, we both have five wounds. Yeah, so you can pick. It's, well, there's other tiebreakers, but I just have his pick. Um. I think it should. He should attack me because. I know I'm going to die the next poison phase. So if you ghost now and he kills you, and then I go ghost, we lose. Yes. But if he kills me early, that's fine. Okay, okay. So one damage and two blue dice coming at you. Shield, hit, and star. Star does nothing, no lightning bolts? Nope. Okay. So... Just two damage just coming two at damage. you, and okay, you block I'm one. one. So I just have to. Don't mess that up. Yes. Yeah. Take no so... damage. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Blue guy is going to activate. He is going to go with the most same same thing. Okay, I'll take Move it. Move to engage. 
So he's going to come at us and attack with swords if wounded and use healing potion. He's not. He is wounded. He's wounded. So okay. he's going to heal instead of attack? No, he's going to attack and then also heal. Okay. What's he attacking with? Uh, he's attacking with swords, so it's one damage and two red dice. Don't roll any light, 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 lightning bolts. But you did. I did. So three damage. Plus um, two. Yeah, three damage total. And he's going to do wheel. Do wheel says if triggered after the sword attack, it attacks the same here with knife. Um, I'm taking it. I guess you're going to die. Actually, you were. No, I have to take it. Like, you have to take just, it? It's the same thing as with okay, the Okay, okay, okay. So three damage coming at you first. Okay, but I'm blocking one. Yep, so two damage. Roll two dice. Yes! Blocked it all. Blocked it all. Do wheel tapping. So now he's going to attack with. Put your sword. The same here with a knife. So two more damage coming at you. You roll one blue dice. See if you block it, and then you get poisoned. I'm already poisoned. Which means you take one damage. Wait, what? Yeah, the tank just has to tank sometimes. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Shield. Okay. So you just, you just I just gave you one damage. Oh, you gave me a damage. Yep. Because anytime you're going to suffer an effect and you already have the effect, instead you just suffer one damage. Yeah. Okay. So, and then he's going to heal himself. Okay. So he's at full health. Okay, that was right. my turn. It is now, now your turn. turn. I'm just going to say, that was really good rolling. That was good defending. That was really... That was good tanking. That was. We're both at one life, and we're totally screwed. No. <laughs> just positive thoughts. Positive thoughts, okay. All right, so, ugh. Um, well, we're dominating the area on the blue guy, so we are. I'm gonna attack him. Yep. He's. I'm gonna use my axe. Okay. So it's two damage coming at him. Plus one for supremacy. You can focus it. No, you're gonna heal yourself. I'm gonna heal myself. Are you gonna heal yourself? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna die anyway. Yes. You might as well focus the attack. So you're gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna focus the attack. So one, two, three, four damage coming at him. Could you have run away after your turn? No. No. Okay. So four damage. He has armor, so three damage. Three damage. Yep. Yeah, Ranger may want to shoot and run away. I don't think I. I could run away. No, because I ran up and shot, so I couldn't run yeah. away. But I, I could run. Away. Yeah, you can. It doesn't make a difference. You can die no matter what. I am going to die no matter what. So, you good. Okay. Encounter. Activate all red enemies. Otherwise, activate all lowest rank enemies. Green guy. Green guy is... What is he going to do? Where's his card? There it is. So, he is at range 1. He's attacked with handbow after the most wounded. So, he's have him come after me again. Okay. Yep. Actually, you're both wounded for sure. So, one damage, two blue dice. Shield, shield. Just one damage, and you block with the armor. That's it. Yes. Move away one area, so he moves away. Oh. Okay, that's it for him. We now do event. Tank, yeah. <laughs> tank, tank, tank. <laughs> nice. It's still just the poison that's going to kill me, which sucks. Speaking of which, time phase. Six plus two is eight. Now we have seven health. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. But I just ghost it. Yep. I lose this charge, right? Yep. Yeah, you lose all your tokens and all your effects, so. Do I lose my money? Uh, Money drops. Yes, money drops in that spot. I'm just going to give it to you. Okay, yeah, I can pick it up. It's fine. Okay. All right, you should go first. What's your soul shout? Target enemy suffers bash and one hit point per its own shield value. So he would get one, the blue guy would get one damage and be bashed. I don't know what bash is. Bash is you knock it away in an area, which doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the suffering of the damage is good, though. In fact, you can go up to here and, 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 and take care of that guy a little bit, damage him a bit. Yeah, would we? We don't dominate the area or anything like no, that. No, I mean, okay. no. But 
But yeah, I think I should go first because if I can kill that blue raider, that's one less enemy we have to deal with. Yeah, and then I can bash the other guy away. Right. I'm at one life though, so we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> it's good now. Teleport. Oh yeah, it's good now. Teleport and heal heal up. Yeah. That's my other yeah. I mean you can't you can't resurrect until the next time phase. But you you will be able to do that. Okay. Next time phase. As long as I don't die. That's what I'm wondering if I just go back and resurrect now. You so can't. That... It has to be new time phase. Oh. I just don't listen to the words coming out of your mouth all the time. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, that's why you can you can actually move here, use the soul shout, and then teleport back there. And the next next time phase, you can resurrect yourself, which will work. But you should go. I should first. go first. So I can kill that guy and then maybe survive the attack from the green guy. Run away. Save your. Movement so you can run away. Can you go back? Why? So you're out of range of the green guy. I'm out of range of him now. You're nine of oh, sight. Oh, no, nine of sight, yeah. That's a good question. What is he going to do if I don't move? Let's take a look. He is going to... I'm two spaces away. Use aim shot. Oh, God, that's horrible. Fast will allow you to run away from the ghost. That's and the true. ghost doesn't pull in counter cards. That's true. So I should go first and push him out anyway. Yeah, you could do that. You would suffer. You can suffer one damage, as well. Which then is... that's banking on you killing the blue guy. The other thing you could do, if you were to bash the green guy, he would not be in line of sight anymore. So then he would move within two areas and, and then handbow. Out. No, oh, he would okay. handbow. So that is the better option. If you were to run up here, bash him away. Yeah, and then I can kill this guy most likely on my turn. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And you rest, you pop over there. Poop. Yeah, more bandages for all that poison. Yeah, we didn't have enough money for that bandages. Yeah. We we needed more. So he's gonna get one damage. Correct. And then he's gonna be back here. Yep. And then you can do your recall, which appears back at that uh, the shrine. Okay. It costs one. No, you mm -hmm. just appear back there. Just appear. No. No. You're a ghost. I'm a ghost. No. That's me. No. I'm just joking. What are you talking about? <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. You're just grabbing random pieces. And <laughs> she's like, oh, I'm going to put my purse back to life. No, can't be that. Oh, I'm going to grab your ghost figure. No, can't do that. Oh, I'm going to grab my ghost figure. And then yeah. I said no because I got messed with her. That's right. <laughs> so, so you're good now. I, I, Recall just means you go to the shrine. Okay. That's it. So time phase, you can resurrect. Okay. Don't die. Don't die. That's exactly right. But that is that. We don't draw a counter card for you. We draw a counter card for me. But first, I get to go. Gremlins kept me broke for the first few missions. Yeah, it's so true. So true. They like to steal that money. So I am not going to move so I can do my accurate shot against that, that dude. Oh, I forgot to trip do this. I do Are my... you sure you don't want to move and run away? Because... That guy, the green guy's gonna move to, then shoot at you with his boat. I think you might Actually, want to run away. He only has one health left. No, I'm not. I am not gonna use my accurate shot. I'm gonna shoot my bow and I'm gonna run up to the green guy. You run up to the green guy. Why? Yes, yes. It's good. We're good. We're okay. We're okay. Watch. This is fine. Attack with my bow. I need to do one damage. I am going to Where... focus the attack. To whom? Who are you attacking? The blue blue guy. So I can roll some dice, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to do one damage to him. So he's dead. Blue guy's dead. He has five Oh, five lives. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I have to roll one damage. That's what I'm saying. I got one damage. Okay. Okay, now he's dead. So we get one soul gem and ten monies. Okay, so... That was... Now I'm going to move three spaces. One, two, three. This is why Kim's freaking out. But look, I have this ability. Oh, ho, ho. And you know what I'm going to do? Check this out. I'm going to get my doppelganger. See, so I have another action. I'm going to doppelgain that guy. <laughs> okay. Are you... It works. Go ahead. Keep going. Yeah, I've got one life. I'm making this work, guys. I'm making this work. So I get two red dice. Oh, I might... Wait, hold on. 
if any hero moves into his area, and let's save. Oh no, he might run away from me. Yeah. I yeah, thank you, Hi Dwarf. You yeah, you totally called me out. I think you need to run the other direction. Yeah, because the other thing is, if I do this and I have a roll of like, gremlin, I die. You need to run the other direction. But if I survive the save... If. If, if I survive the save... The if... chase is on. The chase is on, I know. I'm trying to figure out what I can do here. Oh, wait, technically I would, I would trigger this, too, if I, if I do this. Just wait till I come back to Okay, life. okay, okay, okay. okay. You know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not not gonna happen. I'm not gonna trigger that. Run the other way. There's just one spot back. He can't get you. I think. Right here. Oh yeah, because he's he's thinking if he. So let me move the other way so you can see. So if if he runs away, he would move potentially here. If I move back here, can you see? He can't see still. One, two, three. Yeah, he can see me. So if I move here and I don't get the save, he will still be able to attack me, which is really bad. And he would attack the handbow. That that would be pretty bad. Well, only if I roll the gremlin when I do my save, that's the horrible thing about it. Because then we lose the game. But I think you're right. I don't think I need. I think I need to play it safe. Yes. Let's just play it safe. You're right. He's gonna move here and then try to shoot you. Can you run further away to save yourself? Here to here. Yeah, back up. Like. Can yeah, just like Hydorf saying, back up. Oh back yeah, up. back to the same spot. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, I can do that. One, two, three. I can move up here. Yeah, then he I can can't see you. Okay. Yeah, good call. Good call. That's safer, I guess. So now let's draw the encounter card. Uh, all magic enemies. Otherwise, all heroes must shift one used. Um, power. Power back in okay. time. That's fine. That is so he doesn't activate at all actually. Which is okay, good. good. Okay, that is it. We do the event phase. Again, blow on cards. We get chaos surge. Roll a blue dice. Good. Oh my gosh. I can't read what that says. It says if I roll shield, all heroes and enemies heal damage. If I roll damage, all heroes and enemies suffer a damage. If I roll damage, we lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's on you. Don't do it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, guys, this is so bad. Ah! Okay, Save I rolled Gremlin. I rolled Gremlin. Okay. So nothing happens. Okay. <sighs> yeah, shield, please. I know. That I actually would have helped you. It would, the shield would have been awesome. Nice. No, that's okay. Okay. So now we do time phase. You can resurrect. So spend one soul gem and you come back to life. Okay. Give me seven life, please. Oh, yeah. It's been a while since I've had your life points. Did you die twice this quest? Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've been at one life for most of the game, too. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how this is working. We okay. haven't lost yet. We haven't lost yet. We're running out of time, though, which is the bad side. Okay, I, so I can run real fast. Do you want to go? Yeah, you should go, because he'll just run closer. Yeah. One, two, three, four. You have a special ability. You can dash. You can dash far, extra far. With a dash spent during your movement, you can move up to two areas instead of one, ignoring hindrances. Yes. I would... Actually, holy crap. Holy crap. Why would I want to Look go... Look at this. This is amazing. So it's a sprinter. When you're using dash, your movement, you can move up to two areas instead of one. So normally when you use an action, you can move one. But you ignore hindrances, which means all of these red move to do two actions again here, it only counts as one for you. Yes. Also, when moving, you can pour an extra dash by spending a second moving. That's only oh, when I have that special ability. You don't have a special ability. though. So you would move one, no, two, three, four. No, that's only when four. I'm four. Oh, yeah, it's true. You only have plus one. I don't that's fine. But you have four I, speed, no, and you can still do this. Stop worrying about it. I Six. don't want to get into his line of sight to start taking damage. Or I want him to come to us, and then we can attack him together. And how many cards are left in the time deck? You can. He doesn't. He will see me there. Yeah, he, but you have full health. No. 
Oh wait, is he gonna sh- he does have poison. He would shoot a bow. Yeah, a handbow. Yeah. It's up to you. You don't have to do it. I've died twice. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But how many, like, he's asking okay, so how many, many cards, cards left time So then maybe I do be more aggressive. Anyway. Yeah, because we have one on top and two underneath, and that's it. Oh, and poison, he says. He will poison me. No, he doesn't poison. Not this guy. The green guy? Yeah, this guy has, um, because his handbow does this ability. Now, his dirty trick, if he does that, he attacks with... Yeah, he doesn't do poison. This the green guy does not do poison. The blue uh, guy does poison. How many cards are left? How much time is left? Did you three say? cards? Okay, I will run quickly. Fine. Encounter. Okay. Activate green enemies. Okay. So he's going to activate. He's, he's going gonna move to move two. Move two and then shoot you with hambo. And shoot me with hambos. So two blue dice. One star and star does hit. nothing. A hit does shield. two damage coming at you. So I block one. Yep. So one damage. Roll one blue. No. You take a damage. How are you? You got so much armor. <laughs> I can't roll lightning bolts. That's the <laughs> thing. Roll. I cannot roll lightning bolts. Okay, so it's my turn. Um, run up there. I run. I can run to the spot. Shoot him in the eye. And I can shoot him in the eye. Yes. So I can use a yellow action to focus it, and I have two blue dice. So we can potentially, I can potentially kill him on this, potentially. Let's see what happens. Okay. Two, three damage coming at him. He does have one armor, so two damage goes through. So he's still alive, unfortunately. Yeah. Now I could I do have another yellow action. I could get a potion and throw a potion at him. I feel like you should, because you got one life. Could do that. Hey, did I use my yellow action on my turn? I just ran up there. Yeah, you dashed. Oh, I dashed. Yep. I could have saved it for health to save you. You could have. Could have, should have, would have. Actually, yeah, no, this will this will work fine. I'll use this. I'll use my ability. So this is at three. Okay. Get my no, not yet. Uh, so I roll a red dice and see what happens. Boom! A damage. That's one. He does have armor, but he's. Oh no! I broke his armor. Broken and poisoned. Yes, broken poison. So break happens. Does break happen before the damage? Break happens before the damage. That's okay, correct. Okay, so then he's dead. So he's dead. I broke his armor. He does take one damage. All right. You get that goes up one and, and... ten monies drop in his pot. Okay. Run. <laughs> That's it. We don't draw on counter card because they're all dead. Now we do the event phase. Which means this comes off the event. Okay. Time phase. I don't have any time stuff. You flip I do. your things. Okay. Now it's our turns. One, pick up the money. Okay. Two. Ooh, what's that number three what thing? That? This is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I appreciate the confidence I have for you. What did you say? Sorry. You got this. Oh, Let's nice. Go make it. Okay. So that is. Once per quest, each hero moving over this waypoint can spend an action to roll three red dice. If you roll an SS, something happens. Also, if you're dexter if you're dexterous, you can re-roll the dice once after the first attempt. If you if you don't roll an S, nothing happens. So might as well roll. Might as well. Might as well. You need an S. No. Did not get it. But I got two lightning bolts. <laughs> yep. I use them up. Yep. All that's right. your yellow action, though, to do that. But that's what it is. Okay. Oh, I could have used that to save you. That's okay. Keep going. So, what was that? One, two. No, one, two, three. I can go one more spot. You have four speed. Yeah. I was here, wasn't I? You're here. Doesn't, you can, doesn't one, or two, was three. I, here? I was here. You're here. One, yeah, you can move one more. 
right in front of the door. Okay, so that is your turn. I'm going to go into that spot. One, two. Well, stop there for a second. Uh, I have to roll three red dice, and I can reroll this because I'm dexterous. I did not get it. Let me roll again. Nope, did not get it. Okay. So, spoilers, there's something there. That's pretty cool. Well, tough cookies. That's okay. Okay, that is it for our turns. We do the event. So, let's flip what we get. Event card, we get this Carnage. Till the event phase, the first attack of each hero enemy inflicts critical. Honorary title. Mostly dead for running half the dungeon at one hit point. That's <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> and yeah, High Dwarf. I, I, there's some cool stuff there. We missed. That's okay. Well, we just like to skate right by. So we're going to spawn one enemy. And it's going to spawn right behind me. So I'm going to draw an enemy. And it does critical for the first stack. We had another gremlin? Holy cow. Well, it's good because all the other enemies are so hard. Draw, draw a, uh, a power for him. He gets a power? Oh, yeah. that's that? Yeah. All sword attacks inflict minus one armor, and he has AoE. Potential AoE. So, sonic weapon. Okay. That is it for the event phase. Time phase. Um, I can get this ready now. Good. Okay. You have any time phase stuff? I don't think you do. No. Okay. When do we level up? Oh, do we have four? We have four. You can level up right now. But would that be all four of them? Yes, all four. It's worth it. But if you die, then you need the. I'll I'll kill this guy and get it back. Okay. I'm leveling up. Soul shards leveling up. I'm taking my hammer back. Yeah, that's totally worth it. Plus that guy, because he's got uh, spines. Yeah, so, so I can if you're in his area, you will take damage. And I don't want to be in his area, so yeah. I'm going to throw my hammer at him. Okay. Do you want to go first, then? Or do you want me to go first? You're already there, and he, he I think he'll charge you and attack with claws so that I can hit him. So you want me to shoot with my bow first? Yeah, and then if needed, run away. Um... Maybe. Or do you want me to go first? What I might do is is not move, so I can do my accurate accurate shot, and then what I could do is I can use my um, teleportation vial to move to your area after that. It's a weird way of doing it, but this way I can I can use my accurate shot, which means I don't move. I give up my movement action to do to do extra damage. Okay, you may not need the vial. And I'm doing a critical. I might not need the vial, exactly. So let's do let's do that first. So let's do my accurate shot. I'm not moving. I get I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus the attack. And Oh, I can maybe do extra critical, so that's cool. Okay. So let's let's just roll see what happens. It's critical like an extra damage. Or... It's in that bag. We draw stuff oh, in the bag. Oh, Yeah, that bad stuff happens. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Um, I did not get... Oh, I can reroll dice. It's a... Three... I oh, feel no, like you, it's re... you focused it. You killed him. One, two... Three, four. With three, the focus. four. And he's got four life. Oh, it is a four life. I don't have to worry about it. You just say critical two, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, that's enough. Boom! All right, let me get this back up. One, in case you die. <laughs> All right. Does he drop anything? No, just the... Just the soul gem? gem. All right, so that was totally worth it. Right. And... You can stay there in case the trap. Yeah, I'll stay there. I'm going to open the door. Your turn. One action, open the door, draw the trap. There's a fire crater. Each hero within two areas suffers no! fire. <laughs> and unless you save it, you also suffer one damage per your own armor. I'm dead. Okay, so... Let me, me show people me what it is. Fire. So here's the fire thing. Um, so first, fire axe. So now the fire has changed a little bit in this game. It used to be that when you got fire, you just got the fire token, which looks like um, which looks like the, this. 
and then you can potentially get a fire two level. Basically, what happens is you'll take whatever damage is on equal to that number, and then it will tick down, and you take the damage and ticks down. So it, like it slowly burns over time. However, it changed in Ancient Chronicles. So now, when you get fire, you get a wound immediately. Um. Oh, souls shards do not drop on the map like coins and loot. I don't think. Do they? I don't think they do. Because there's no like little token, right? There used to be tokens, but you just keep kept track of them. I, I don't think they drop on the map. I, I think that's true. Because right now you we do the, like this counter now, so I don't think yeah I don't think those tokens are useful for anything. Long story short, I'm going to take one damage right now. And so am I. But you're dead. And I'm dead. Which means I am dropping all of this loot in that spot. I'm going to have to go pick it up. Yes, all that loot in, in that spot. And all your money. And all my money. Yep. And I have to forget a power. My talent. I forget my talent. It's all right. Okay, so that's gonna be the fire creator, um, and then you are gonna take. You took one damage. I took one damage. Um, oh wait, you do you take extra damage from fire? You I do. I have to save. You take two damage right now. Uh, one damage. Each time you suffer wounds due to fire or poison, I suffer additional. Yep, you take two damage, and two now damage. you have to save. So do a save check. Lightning bolt. I should be rolling blue for this, right? Not red, even though it's red right here. Blue, blue. always blue, okay. always blue. Nope. So you take an extra damage. Oops, you have four, right? Yes. Nope, I'm at five because I had eight. I leveled up. Oh, okay, eight. And then you still get the fire token, so you can get burned for another two coming up. It's okay. I can live with that. Yeah. So still my turn. So that was the trap. That was not great. Um, I'm gonna move and pick up all this stuff. You can't. Why not? You only have spot for two things. You can pick carry. Would it be better if I move here and just have you run and catch it? Um, potentially. I mean, pick up pick up the armor. Go pick up the two armor. Yeah, the artifact we can leave. It's fine. Armor the weapon. Go pick it up. Cause I don't think I can get there fast enough. I have to. I can pick up two. Yeah. Okay. And then you have three movement left. Yes. One, two. And the three's in the middle. Is that that card? No, card's not here. No. Oh. So go over there. Oh. Okay. okay. Was that? I'm trying to think of what happened. So I took my. Oh, I killed this stuff. The fire trap killed me. So now it's the event phase, right? Yes. Okay. So the event comes off the, the deck. We only have one card left. So now it is time phase. Yeah, time phase. You take two damage. But I'm not burning anymore. Um, slide the, map. slide the map up. Yes, thank you. Let's do that. Yeah, I need a bigger table, guys. Sorry. Okay. So I'm not burning anymore, but I took two more damage. Yep, you're at three life by my math. Yes. Okay. And we can take our turns. I would like to go first. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Because all you're going to do is teleport there. Here's what I'm going to do. Because I'm not going to lose any equipment, at least from what I have. I have no equipment, basically. One, two, I'm going to move here. And then I'm going to use my Soul Shout. Soul Shout's pretty cool. I'm going to roll a blue dice. If I get a star, I get to put a loot in your spot. Okay. I'm not going to use that experience point. Oh, I did! <laughs> All right. Loot? This is loot, right? Yeah, it's loot. Treasure! Treasure. I just got us another treasure. It is a dancing scimitar. Cool. So this one's great because it's level three, so you can potentially use it pretty quickly. Um, actually, no, because I have to. We both have to level up. But um, you can use that range, which is interesting. Lethal, which is awesome. 
Uh, and you can just suffer damage. That, that's a really good uh, weapon. Do I want that instead of the golden axe? Or should I drop the robe so you can get the robe? Um, or I should keep the robe? Which one's better? Because I only carry one. I think I need to... I think I need to recall, and I think I need to get down here as fast as I can. But I thought you just used your ability, so you can't recall. I can recall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, send me back to the, the shrine. Um, take the scimitar, because we, we need more weapons that we can Instead use. of the robe? Drop the axe. The golden axe? Yes. Keep the robe. Are you sure the golden axe? Fine. Take the axe. Bleed. Use that range. Oh, I like this range one too, though. It's level three. This one's better. This, that's an axe this is better? That's better. When, but I can use this one sooner. Sooner. Yes. Doesn't matter. I'm going to try and get down there, so it's fine. Okay. Wow. I'm going to use my teleportation spell. He says keep the axe. Keep the golden axe? Yeah. Okay. I think. Let me know what you think, High Dwarf. Keep the axe or drop it. I don't know what you mean by axe. Yeah. I like the axe better. Even okay. though I can't use it yet. <laughs> I think you mean keep the axe. Yeah. Because, yeah. Okay, so what are you doing? Is that it? That's, that's it. It's your turn. So I'm going to step on this thing? Or do you want me to do this? Well, I have to do this. Both will okay. be a long time before you can use it. They will yeah. be a long time. All right. Okay. Story time. Story time. Let's see what it says. It is... Story event 3, 2.20. The heroes finally reach an underground hall, a room completely carved in the stone. From the shadows created by the flames of the bracers, a group of raiders appear. One of them, possibly one of their leaders, speaks to the venturers with a soft, threatening voice. Seems like the high priest resurrected you all just to grant us the possibility to kill you again. We've died so many times. It's I'm, I'm not even threatened I'm not, by this. I'm not phased by your threats. <laughs> the ma matters of the guild are not your business. Heroes are not. You will die. Open the spawn gate right here. Uh, place the double blue raider in the story event three area. The double blue raider? Yeah, so over there in those set aside cards, there should be a, a blue raider card. You need to grab that one specifically. Place the double green area raider in the spawn. Yeah. And the double green. Yeah, it should be in the deck. The double green is already there. there. Maybe. Yeah. Death and I, <laughs> death and I on a first name basis. Don't you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally, totally high dwarf. <laughs> so true. We've died so many times. All right. So. They both get power cards. Um, Immediately activate both raiders. Oh boy. So one raider is here, the blue one, and the green one's up here. And they both get powers? Alright. Yep. Alright, so blue raider power is illusionary images. He gains oh, one gosh. image token unless no tokens remain before defeating. You roll a blue die, and if there's a shield, you discard one token and ignore the attack. Yep, yeah, yeah, we show these two are both the people, so. So yeah, that one's pretty bad. Um You can just ignore like Kim said. This one's probably worse for us. He counts as dead. When he deals damage with his primary weapon, unless the hero is saved, the party loses soul gems. Hmm. If we lose soul gem, I can't resurrect. Correct. Yeah. And they're activated right now. <laughs> <laughs> the green one has the soul drinker ability. That sucks. Okay, so first one is going to be the blue. Uh, we always do the lowers. Don't have to highest. So that's how we've been doing it for the reason. Where's the green raider? There he is. He is one, two areas away from you. He's going to use aim shot. Okay, so he's going to attack you for plus two damage and critical. What are you? So three. So draw a critical. Well, I might as well roll for him. You roll two blue dice. And Go ahead, roll. Okay. That's not good. Here is his thing. He rolled a miss and just one damage. That's good. So two damage 
plus two, so four damage and a critical. Critical is you, she drew a green two. one. It's one time effect, you just suffer two damage. I think I've died. I need to block. I need to block everything. You, you have four me. damage coming at you right now. Four? Yes, because it's an aim shot. You block one with the armor. You have three coming at you. You have to roll three blocks, otherwise you lose the game. No pressure. Three blocks. One, two, three! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah! Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you uh, saving your save rolls for now, apparently? Because <laughs> they're not lightning bolts. <laughs> okay. That was the green guy. The blue guy is going to go. He is moved to engage. He's already engaged with you. He's going to attack with sword. So, two red dice. Go ahead. I'll roll for you. He has... Look, he didn't do wield, so it's going to be three damage coming at you. And that's it. Three damage. Okay. So I'm blocking one. Yep, two damage coming at you. I have to block both of these. Why? I have one life. You have one life? That's oh why the last roll was so important. Oh my too. gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Oh! Look, look, look. Oh! <laughs> Jeez. Boom. <laughs> Just hanging on. Okay. Just hanging on, Steve. Wow. We're not done yet, though. What? <laughs> if there are more than three heroes, we don't do anything else. Spawn. No, spawn enemies. Place a story event three card on top of the event deck. Resume play until the green raider and the blue raider die. Or they kill those raiders. Okay. That was you moving. <laughs> Okay, what does the soul siphon say with the critical activated? Oh, that's a good question. That's a really good question, Hyde Dwarf. Let's put that also on the screen. Also counts here. as undead. Yeah, it's fine. Um, when attacked with his primary weapon, unless they hear a save, that's on the green one. He attacked with his secondary weapon. Yes, he did not attack with his primary weapon, so this does not even come to play. Good question. For a second, I thought that was Good it. Good question. Okay. Okay, that was your movement. You haven't done any attacks or anything, so you can attack right now. I think I have to. You have to. You need to do any actions. So you have your one action, mm -hmm. and you have your attacks. You can summon your hammer if you want. Doing my hammer. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um... I think I should attack with the hammer. Okay. Or do can I swap? Oh wait, no, I'm not strong enough for that stuff. Yep. We the problem is, so the, the game got a lot hard because in the when you originally played this, you had the deck set up so that Act One treasures you would just get, like it was only Act One in there. So every treasure you draw was useful to you. Now because you have these levels to get to, you draw a lot of loot you can't use. Them right away so the game got a lot harder because like we're finding cool gear but we can't use it because we're not strong enough so we're having to last longer with the starting gear which makes it, makes it challenging so should i attack with my slashing axe which just does two off the bat they he blocks blunt neither of those are blunt so you're okay or should i do the hammer I mean, you can do your axe and hammer you can do both I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the axe. Okay. Two? Okay. Two damage right off the bat. He's gonna block one. Okay. Alright. So two hits. One, two, three. Minus one is two hits, but um but what? This enemy gains one image token unless no tokens remain before defending. Oh, he's supposed yeah, to. Yeah, so roll. now he's going to roll, roll blue dice. He ignores the attack. Okay. So I didn't do anything. Yep, he hit his image, but now he doesn't have an image. So you're okay. Now you can hit him without worry. So now you can use your hammer if you I'm want. I'm going to use my hammer. Okay. So a red and a blue and a damage. Shit, I'm rolling so many shields now. 
So he's KO'd, which doesn't do anything. It does. It ignores his armor. Oh. So, two hits. Not enough. Right? Correct. Correct. And you have to spend one of your hammers. Yeah. Okay, so that was yours. Do the do the counter card. The bad thing is you have to survive this. Activate all blue enemies. Okay, so he's going to stand immediately back up. And he's going to do stuff. What is he going to do? You're in a spot. Engage, attack with swords. And then he's going to heal himself. Okay. Okay, sucks. Attack with swords. It's going to be... <laughs> this might be it, guys. Two red dice. If you do wields, you're dead. If I roll a lightning bolt, you're dead because he's going to poison you. Is the first attack crit event still in play? No, it is not in play anymore. Good question. That one fell off the top of the deck. Okay, here it goes. I think we lost. So it's three damage coming at you, and he's going to do a wield. You block one, two more coming at you. Come on, come on, come on. Clutch. No. That's it. I died. She died. You were going to die anyway with the poison, so. Uh, that is it. We made it to the final room with only a little bit of turn left, and we, we lost the game. Wait, that was it? We just had to kill those two guys? Yeah, just had to kill those two guys. That's the end of the campaign? End of this this mission, yes. End of the mission. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So quest fails. Quest fails. The last event is discard all heroes of ghost forms. So we do two point two two. So it says here the darkness projected by the guild of shadows is able to obscure even the brightest light. After the fall of the heroes, corruption and cruelty will continue to rule the kingdom. No rewards, and we get to play the quest again. Sometimes you keep going. Sometimes you replay it. But no, this one we did fail. So we come back. Um, I'm going to drop all my stuff. We lose. I'm going to come back. We lose all much, the treasures we I'm picked up. I'm coming back as a noob, essentially. Yes, we don't have any treasures. Okay. All the treasures we lost. And we're broke. Um, oh. Yeah, you drop your money. Oh. We're going to have to fight the raiders next time. <sighs> okay, yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, this game got really, really, really challenging with the new enemies and the new rules. Because I know there's a lot of complaints that this game was too easy. And I think the fact that you're not getting treasures you can use. Is there a way, though, that you order the deck, like, in the first game, or the first way it was? or You could, but... So here's, here's the thing. Um, at least the rules they have written is any Act 1 treasures you find count as level 3 soul requirement. So you can't use any treasures until you get to level 3. Wow. Period. Now, normally when you play the game, Act 1 treasures, because you're in Act 1, you can just use them. So you could house rule it, so it's not a level 3, it's just an Act 1 treasure, which is how the card's printed. Honestly, that might be easier than, than doing what they have suggested. Um, I might like that better, honestly. Because it's pretty, pretty challenging right now. Um, yeah, it's it's really hard. Yeah, that is a loss, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And <laughs> so sad. On that note, so sad. Maybe we'll try again next week. The same thing. Yeah, I don't like ending on a loss like that. Well, yeah, we can't reset the play again right now. So yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll try it again. I guess so. Wah, yeah, because wah. we know we know the next time we play this, since we lost everything and we have no money, we're gonna have to get Yeah, High Dwarf High Greedy. Level three is a lot to get to. It is. Yeah. It we're, really is. We're gonna Because we're, gonna we're both players. at level one. We're gonna come in at that level one with no money. I won't be able to bribe Jack Crow again. Mm -hmm. So then we'll see that side of the story. Mm -hmm. Maybe switch the poison vulnerability. I think that's the other thing that's really killing you specifically is the poison the poison and the fire like that trait that so every these trait cards are pretty cool i do like them um but they they give you they give you uh kind of a pro thing a con and another pro so it's like two pros and a con um but this con is pretty pretty nasty is that the only trait card that my character can get kind of 
Yes, because this is the female version of it. If you choose the male, it's got a different card. Maybe switch the poison. That's what I just oh, said. Oh, wait, let's say vulnerability, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy now. Yeah, it is really hard. I, I, I mean, that's a sign. That is the only trick card you have for your character. If you choose to play the female version of that, that is the power you get. You don't have a choice. Now, we could. No, we don't have any money. There's, there's potions and stuff you could buy to help with that. And I could build my character a little bit differently where I can actually create potions to get rid of body conditions. So I can get rid of your poison off you, which I think I need to get. I think get. you need to do that. Yeah, so I need to level I up. I can't, I can't get rid of this. If this is the only trait card, I'm going to have to live with it. So the nice thing is because I'm starting over. What's the male card? Uh, that's a good question. Um, if you don't mind chatting real quick, I'll go grab it. We can look at it. So, or not, don't chat. Well, I'm thinking if I would want to even switch to the the other character. Oh, switch characters completely? No, no, just switch to the male side. I but I wonder if it's just inverted of this, where he gets the bonus for poison and fire, and then gets destroyed when um, it's some other. What are the other two Here he is. things? So he is also hard by frost. Uh, fire poison. So he, he has the same weakness. Oh, it's the same stuff. But he has this. If you spend two actions instead of one to focus on attack, you get plus two damage. So he's got a, a different ability on the bottom. Oh. Yeah. It's a little bit different. So poison would still be a problem. Yeah. Okay. Well, are you able to change how you've built your character? Or when you... I no, can... that's a level two thing. When you pick a new trait, right? Well, not a, no, I can't actually do it because I lost a level. So when I level up again, I can choose a different power. And so what I could do, and I think this might be worth it, is I can choose this power instead, instead of my um, chemical knowledge. My chemical knowledge is the one I've been using all these fun little vials, vials, which is really powerful. But if I choose this one instead, what I can do then is I can build my own potion. So how it works is for an action, I can take one of these pieces and I have to be able to pay for it. So for example, this one, if I had 15 gold, I can pay for it and I can get a heal four. Hmm. And if I do another action, I can build more to it, right? I can I can build how, whatever I want and these are double-sided. And then for an action, I can then discard this whole thing and apply these effects to a hero. Then the reason why I bring that up is because on the flip side of this one, for five crowns, I can remove a body condition. So I can get rid of that poison very quickly off you for five money. That's assuming we get money. Yeah, you just need five money to do it. So this, I think I might need to switch off to using this power instead of my chemical knowledge power. And then I would need to get the money so I can I can buy this stuff for you. So I think that's the, the next plan. Let's try that next week. Yeah, new, new strategy. We'll try that next week. But um, yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys hanging around. I had fun, even though we got destroyed. I mean, you died... Two Twice. times. I died once. I was at one life for like the whole map. I died three times. You died three times. That's right. I died three times. So, yeah, man, it is it is rough. It's I'm enjoying it though. It's a, it's a fun game. Mm -hmm. So, but yes, next week we will play this game. We Wednesday. don't Wednesday. We're also going to do a Marvel United Buyer's Guide because that was requested, um, and then I might have another special thing next week too. But You're not on camera, buddy. I know. <laughs> I'm floating head. There. No, floating there. On. I can see. Cool. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you at the next stop. Yeah, thanks, Ice and Death. Bye, Bye -bye. everybody.